Oh, oh my god. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to watch that before it stops working. Uh, god, I love that intro. I thought the Storm uh, Stormbringers, like, logo flash into title screen was hype as shit. But that's amazing. Yeah, that's the intro for Shadowbringers. Mm. And yeah, saw a lot of reasonable comments and uh, that were like, I have no idea what's going on, but I like it. Here's the wild thing. It all literally makes sense. Um, believe it or not. And uh, like like somebody said, oh sorry, let me uh, let me tweak some lighting here. Like somebody had mentioned, like the lore for 14 is actually pretty straightforward. There's just a ton of it. There's just a ton of it. But like it's it's all pretty logically connected. Weirdly, um, a lot of the movements of the story don't exist in like the a wizard did it plane. It's usually like wizards did that, and now all this other like human drama is happening. Um, there's the intro again. Uh, da 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 da. 14 is the most coherent Final Fantasy game out there. It's very close. Um, I think, I think like, 6 is a little more literal. Um, 9 is, is pretty contained. 12 is pretty, like, kind of packaged around human drama instead of just, uh, just wizards. Yeah. 12 is actually kind of similar to 14 in how, like, uh, intricately political it is. Like, there's just a lot of characters that all have different motivations, and you don't know what they are, but you see what they do. And you have to kind of figure out those motivations in reverse. Um, 12 was like one of the, is one of the smarter written games. It's very similar to Star Wars, actually, yeah. It's very similar to Episode 1, um, but in like a much better way. It's, it's weird. Like, 12 is the video game version of like Episode 1 thematically, because it is all political shit, almost starting a war. And then it's just you moving around trying to stop that from happening. Um, but to be able to track the meta space of what you're doing, you kind of have to pay attention to a bunch of things they only show you little bits of. Uh, it's actually super, super smart. Um, and it fits the container of a game, like a 60-hour game, a lot better than a 92-hour movie. Oh, 9? Sorry. Well, I still think 12 is very similar to Episode 1. 9 is kind of more similar to classic Star Wars. Anyway, here's my here's my magical potato. It's Cloud of Roth, Cephal He's He's a cool dude. Let's see if we got a Q. Oh, that's not bad. Holy crap. Just a couple hours away from a new patch. Okay, so let me see if I can figure out where we're at in this, in this particular storyline. Because we got new new main story. Uh, so, the, the pressing issue at hand, the stakes on the table, is that for our scions, the, like, part... Basically every Final Fantasy of a party, right? Um, the main character, the Warrior of Light, is you. Um, so that's not really a character in terms of the narrative, but you're surrounded by a cast of, of anime heroes. They... <sighs> okay. So remember when I said the lore is straightforward. This is this is as magic as it gets. They were, they were pulled from their bodies into another dimension. <laughs> um, where in that other dimension they just look like literally themselves, except they're not physical. Uh, they're like uh, ghosts, basically. Um, they were pulled over there to solve a problem on that dimension, which is what Shadowbringers is all about. Now they have to go home, um, and we're trying to figure out how to do that. So it's basically like you're trying to make sure that the physical and kind of soul or spirit versions of the cast of heroes gets reunited. Um, and that's, that's... What's weird is they talk about that, and that should be just an ethereal thing, right? And it does kind of amount to go find a magic rock. But uh, the, the way that they, they step through the lore is actually pretty straightforward. They talk about magic as though it's an observable, recordable, and uh, manipulatable phenomenon. Like, in the world of 14, magic's kind of like gasoline or oil or electricity. Um, it's Parts of it are understood, but parts of it aren't. And society's figured out a way to, to kind of harness it because it behaves predictably. Um, and it also has kind of like grand Newtonian properties too. Uh, magic imbalance between dimensions has caused a lot of the issues of the game. Nice chat open. All right, so let let's go and get some gosh darn. I think I, I think my home is here. This is this is basically the. Uh, why is chat still open? There. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I'm on. That's right. I played with controller last time. There we go. There's our waz. There we go. That's it. That's the good stuff. <sighs> never thought about hiding the names and titles. Uh, that does make the world look a lot cleaner, but then you don't get to see people's stupid-ass names. And that is, like, Stroy Heartworm. 
Uh, wait, isn't Tweet Tran? Isn't that the Yellow Ranger? She's wearing yellow. Um. Anyway, uh, I actually do like the. Uh, I do like the name metagame of Final Fantasy XIV. It's one of my favorite things. Like you know when you get in beef tenders. <laughs> He's a little guy! Um, you know how when you get into, uh, like a, uh, a lobby in Call of Duty and you just scroll the names and be like, Oh my god. Oh my god. Giant nutsack 420s in my lobby. That's basically the feeling I get in Final Fantasy XIV all the time. It's delightful. Let's, let's just take a scout around here. Let's see what, let's see what fashions people are wearing. Oh, it's a nice summary, uh, summary combo there. Nice and open. Matt Damon. <laughs> He's looking good! Looking good in the sun. Don't forget, Elidibus stirring up stuff in Ardbert's body. That's where you're at in the story. I don't remember that. <laughs> um, that's, uh, I, I'm sure it will click back in in a moment, maybe. Uh, Jerome Castle. He's got an interesting pose there. Felicity Mistletoe. Sounds like she's an actress in a CW show. Soul Reaver, the Fallen. King Lucius. I'll protect you. This is so cool. Uh, Clef and Stark. Thanks for the cheer. Uh, that's a, that's actually a pretty chonkety cheer. You inspired me to get in shape. I can now bench 90 kilograms for five sets of 10. I am my own video game. Well, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's, uh... Once you get over the, the, the hump at the beginning... And especially once you embrace it, it's going to be more of a lifelong pursuit. Man, it feels good to, to kind of feel control over that aspect of your life, especially if you haven't, if you felt out of control there for most of your life. That's just been my experience. So I'm glad that, yeah, I'm glad that you're, uh, I'm glad you're into it. I'm glad you're on the path. I've been losing some, I've been, I've been ticking the weight down and I got to admit, like now it actually, it just feels comfortable to, more comfortable to just sort of flop on the couch. It's weird. I always wonder what that felt like and I'm not quite there yet, but to just be like a body at rest. Um, in my particular body, whenever I would try to just like, like I could, I would, I always knew I was in like a really puffy container, and it just didn't feel very good. Cactus is indeed a swastika. No, cactars are pure. Cactars are are socialist democrats. They are absolutely not fascists. Maybe they are, dude. You got me wondering now. It's not like 1,000 Needles is a friendly thing to do. But they bounce around! They bounce around all cute! Bow! So we got some new story. Uh, what's it like to be fat? Um, there's a couple of layers to it. The physical layer is, like, it literally feels like you have just shit sagging on you. Um, if somebody, like, I guess, taped, like, bags of milk to your body. It's a little more firm than that, but it does feel like there's just stuff hanging off of you. Um, and if, like, if you lay down or you, like, sit or or press over, like, that that stuff is still there and it, like, creates, uh, it creates, what's the word, pressure. So just little things that should be super comfy or are just not. Um, clothes constrict in odd ways because you have these just, like, extra things on your body and it makes things hang differently and feel differently uh it also like makes you hotter because it insulates you uh and then the you know the mental is not great um there are social implications to being overweight people treat you differently and that can have an effect on your your self-image um looking at yourself can have an effect on your self-image especially here's here's the the worst part when you connect being overweight to being a bad person as though you are you are gluttonous or or don't have any self control, um, people assume that about you, and then you can also think it about yourself. Um, yeah, body dysmorphia is no joke. That's true too. It's it's really sad when you can sort of see it on social media. People posting like hyper deformed photos of themselves. That's when it's like, oh wow, you are. I mean, at least at least you're putting out a a weird and unintentional cry for help. But yes, it is. That is what that looks like for sure. There is VO, but not all dialogue is, is VO'd, so I will, for those curious, I guess try to summarize important beats, but we've been on a long break, so I think it's going to ramp up pretty slow. 
or a random NPC will run up and hand me a quest. When did you get into 14? I know it was in like 2010, yeah. I played, so I, I played Final Fantasy XI quite a bit. Um, and, excuse me, because of that, when 14 came out, I played 1.0 for like two weeks and I was like, nah, dog. Uh, so I walked away from it. And then I, I picked it up when Realm Reborn came out, their, their relaunch and revamp of the game. And I've been playing it pretty directly ever since. Every time they do a new expansion or a new patch, I, I hop back on and play through it. Um, for a stretch there, I was I was kind of like in-game, like high-level rating stuff, but haven't gotten back to that pillar yet. Uh, mostly because I think I'm also I didn't really play very efficiently. I don't think um, I would play a lot for slow stretches at a time, which is not ideal. I think um, when you're when you're climbing the gear the gear levels in this game. This was the case a few years ago, I don't know if it's still this way, but it was way more efficient to just play a little bit every day, as opposed to just try and grind it all out. Oh, there's a new Mr. Peanut edition. I knew that there was new Peanut stuff coming. No, I haven't I haven't seen Baby Nut 2.0. So this is picking up Ardbert's thing. I thought Ardbert was long dead. Uh, because Ardbert was part of the last gang of Final Fantasy heroes that had to fight a terrible villain, but they lost. Um, which is a is a kind of a <laughs> that's awesome, Ryzen. <laughs> I I love this. Finally, like the world is catching up to the internet. You gonna do VO for the non-VO lines? Nah. I, uh, that makes me too self-conscious. And especially in a game like this, where there's a lot of very heavy, like, European, uh, accents and, like, high fantasy accents. I think that'd be pretty cringy. He is dead. This is, this Ardbert is an Asian. Oh! When did that happen? I believe it did. But, uh, I don't recall. Yeah, Ultimate, this is, or Ultimate Extra, this is, this is a Final Fantasy game. You still gotta read the story. I like that. I like the intersection of, like, book and game. Um, also, there's a character named Ardbert. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Like, the way that they structured 14, you also got to meet one of, one of the, like, party from before. Uh, so if you were a healer, which I was, you got to meet the healer from before and then see their story. So, like, not only was there a story of a, a like, a a team that failed before, but you also got to, based on your role and your job, uh, see different parts of that story. So that was such a cool way to do it. Uh, for those unfamiliar with this game, would you mind giving us a brief description of your class? Yeah, sure. White Mage. Ba wait, hold on. Um, I put on my special boy shirt. White Mage! Woo! Um, it's, it's pretty direct healing, actually. Um, but 14 has a really... a lot of cool mechanics about healing. At its core, uh, healing is is managing magic, you know, converting magic into into heals. But there's a few things to consider. Um, the the MP MP has a lot of mechanics around it. There's things like combo cures that will proc uh, based on percentages. There's different kinds of cures. There's like cure over time, cure over AOE. It, it can it can get shockingly complicated when to just keep people alive but the cool thing is that overhealing does double aggro on you so if you're just spamming heals then the tank or the the boss will just turn around and kill you so you have to keep people alive but you can't just you know keep hammering heals on somebody even if you have the magic so that's where the the elegance kind of comes in is balancing all your cooldowns being smart about what cure or what magic you use and when and then also dodging damage yourself uh, there are some other other tweaks to it, but White Mage is like the most straightforward healing class. Um, I haven't I haven't played Astrologian. I haven't played any other job in this game because I've always enjoyed White Mage the most. I can't imagine another job being more fun. I'm sure it might be. I'd like to try tanking. Um, oh, and doing DPS. Yeah. So White Mage also does DPS. Everyone does DPS, um, which kind of goes into the healing thing, like. If you stack heals right, then you might open up more time for yourself to do DPS, which is a big deal. There, there are some um, some bosses that were like, it's almost it's like 
the bars have to even out. If your DPS is A+, plus, then your DPS doesn't matter so much. But if DPS is somewhere in the middle and you kick in a good amount, then it's just whatever gets you over the top, you know? So that's be a Dark Knight, mega edgy tank. Oh, that would be awesome, especially as my, like, my little man. Let's see here. Okay, I'm guessing this might be the, like, NPC that reminds you of the story, or this is how they're packaging it. Surprised about the unexpected Halo delay. I was, I was surprised, yeah. I don't know what the Series X is going to launch with now. Um, or, or they're just going to have to really, really, really change the messaging around a console launch. You know? But why, why do you have to buy the, the can now? What is the refrigerator going to do? I thought it was going to play Halo Infinite, but what does it do now? <laughs> the, there's no other... This is something that I've been very concerned about, is that, like, we don't know what the launch slate is for either console, or when they're hitting, and it's only, like, two to two or three months away. Yeah, Game Pass? Maybe a year of Game Pass with a Series X? Something like that. Like, that's that's what... That's the, what their marketing is going, is like, it's all about Game Pass, it's all about the right platform for you to access our service. So... Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't know what cross-section of people the Series X is for now, if it doesn't play Infinite. Very weird. Tell me about the Warriors of Light. So this, okay, they're giving me a... Yeah, this is just a literal story recap. Let's see. Ardbert. Yeah, I think Ardbert might be Scottish based. He's got a cool voice. The relevant texts. Knack 3 for both? There we go. Where Knack 3 goes, the money follows. It's an old uh, marketing axiom. It was actually chiseled into uh, Egyptian tablets. If you want to do the near raid, you don't have to progress in MSQ. Okay. Is, I, is it back in that... Mm, I don't remember where it was. It's like where those dwarves are, you know, and they found that, like... They basically found a portal to, to near land while they were tunneling or something. I, uh, where was that? I think it was... Like here? No, that's a church. It's like a mine. Kalugia? Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll open with a bang. I don't have any gear yet from the patch, but... That dude is... Oh, very loud tip-taps. He's got little Tron rings. Dancer would be fun. I think, like, uh, those are all, um... DPS classes, though. Alright, let's teleport. If I can remember how. Oh... Wherever that's from, who cares? It's I'm level four, 465. Oops. Whoop! Didn't see it in time. Ooh! Okay, yeah, I don't have it. Uh, I can pick up the... Pick up the quest, at least. Yeah, there it is. I gotta get with more mounts, man. I mean, riding a sparkle egg is pretty good, but... Do you just have to go up? I think you do. You know, is that giant elevator? Just elevating on my egg. Fabergé egg is classy as fuck, yeah. Also with my little man's just sitting on it. He's got his hands on his legs, just waiting. I love that, uh... A lot of the mounts, uh, for Lalafell specifically, since they're so gosh darn small, they have a different sort of riding animation than most characters. Because they can't, like, their legs don't reach things, and they just have to kind of spread out on their belly sometime. It's it's delightful. Being a Lalafell uh, continuously provides moments of, uh, of nourishment. Just check, checking out the scene here. Sizing up the crowd. All right. Oop. Missed. There's a carnival. 
That's right. I keep forgetting. Every time they do like a new thing in a raid, it's never like, hey, here's the raid, go do it. There's always a story or meta story wrapped around it. I guess the dwarves are doing a carnival. Well, ain't that just precious. That's what I call anime. Hell yeah. How do you feel about the head pats? Uh, I was confused until I realized it was a meme. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I, I think some people are like actually upset about it. I mean, why would you be a tiny potato if you didn't want people to pat your head? But, this is like a... Need some story for a play before I go raiding? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta warm it up, stretch it out a little bit. You can't go right into the magical explosions. Well, I think maybe then I will... I guess, I guess it's like... Gotta do the quest line either way. Trying to decide if I should just click back to doing the MSQ. Hopefully I get some uh, good drops out of the first duty or whatever. They have slower movement speed. No, they move their legs faster. They like, they, they like bounce gallop. Um, they did find a way to make their, their legs match their movement speed. I, I'm pretty sure they're not just slower. Uh, they found a pretty good way to make it look like it, but they get like, they have like full leg, full leg extension. They can run like deer, basically. I like this track. Very reminiscent of, like, PlayStation 1 uh, JRPG music. Kind of Chrono Crossy a little bit. Got that Calypso Caribbean flair. Like the steel drums. It's the tribe of black mages. No, this is what dwarves look like. Uh, although, I'm pretty sh Wait. There was one dwarf that took took their uh, their head covering off. I'm pretty sure they just look like Lollafell. Um, but they're dwarves, because they have beards and uh, weird glowy VV eyes. I'm among my people here. Oh, Jawas, yeah. The first versions of Lala's, that's right. Yeah, that's true. That's right. I, I forgot about that. Which is pretty brilliant, if you think about it. You can just make, like, character model swap outs for other dimensions and be like, there, it's different. <laughs> what race is Seth allowed? Lollafell. Tiny boy. Tiny little nugget boy. With his stubby little nugget ant arms and tiny little corn cob legs. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the all-important dialogue decision. Tis indeed my solemn duty to eat my weight in carnival food. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Oh, I think when dwarves remove their masks or helmets in 14, they get cast out. Yeah, I recall there being, a, like, a... It was like a one-off line a million years ago about why they uh, why they do that. This is nice though. We're gonna have we're gonna have some pretty comfy story time today on the stream. A lot of delightful JRPG slow-paced reading with nice background music. I stayed up all morning and finished the patch. Just woke up. Damn, you got into it, dude. Nice. The song sounds almost exactly like the amusement park song from Nier Automata. Maybe. I mean, this this is the Nier content. I love you, Cactar. Look look at us look at us, Cactar. Two inseparable boys. Ah, oh, I don't think I ever saw the. Uh, Yule more at night. That's pretty cool looking. I do like how it has all the spotlights. Like that's such a such a look from classic Final Fantasy games. It even looks like a mono artwork. Uh, 
Or like Final Fantasy VI when you're going to Vector, like all the cool little spotlights. I think it's a 9 too on the like Circus Carnival thing. Wait, no, in the city they went. I don't remember. Whatever. If I play 14, I want to play as one of those little dudes and go rogue, a stabby little child thing. Yeah? You can be a. Uh, what's the rogue? Uh, is it ninja? Is there a backstab class in 14? I don't even know if backstab is a mechanic in 14. Yes. Endlessly reverb, wrinkly, tinkly piano. We're back. That's, man, it's interesting coming back to this after after uh, playing a little bit of Automata, which is a, yet a game I will get back to. 2P, okay. Wait, knowing what I know now, what does P stand for? can't remember. <laughs> Puss bot. <laughs> they don't have genitalia. We've been over this. Cow, thank you for the sub. Oh, and Twisted Irish, thanks for the prime. I don't think I am. Uh... Killer Red Wagon, thanks for the thanks for the sub. Necrophidius, thank you. Sorry, I missed some here. Coos J. Appreciate the prime. I just get so invested. Um this one does, that's why it's called 2P. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, 2P is the character they made for Soul Calibur. It's reverse color 2B. Huh. Okay. Seriously? I didn't know that character was 2P, so... Oh gosh, what are the lore implications? Oh, Danganronpa. Yes. I will. I'm gonna say yes to that until the end of time. Straight Frisco. Until I play it forever. Thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, <laughs> hmm. And the character models, character model mods. I was looking at it for Nier Automata. There was an option to do the inverted color, and now I know why. room. Oh yeah, the corpse room. That's the thing. Jokes. Sort of. Wait, is the android corpse corpse room a thing? Is that... Is that the raid? Go into the android graveyard and yank out a part? Replace the, uh... Her, her robo... Her, her robo P word got too wet, shorted out her circuits. Wow, you actually have to run through the raid to get to another. Huh, okay. I mean, if I know near, it's making you run back through something you've already done to get a part or something or a quest objective. Is there enough ass in this? Um. It is not, it is not a lascivious game. You can, you can be a little provocative with your character. There are like swimsuits and stuff, but that's about how it gets. And it's not like you have um, character sliders to make your anime particularly donkey or busty. Um, you can make your own character, but like it's not, this isn't like Black Desert or anything. You're not gonna make, God damn it, <sighs> That was to go back. Yeah, you're not gonna make a, an anime tit Titan-ass, uh, penis destroyer. But you will absolutely make the cutest little nugget in the world like this guy. Look at him. So, you know, depends what you're into. 14 is, is not a coomer's paradise. You get that out of the way early. And then you come here, you come here to get to work. Play, uh, play a real, a real MMO. Draw your tiny potato ankles.
Does anyone remember, like... What's the... What's the canon of this area? Is this area just here? They just found it? You tried playing with the controller? Yeah. Um... I played with the controller on... Uh, PlayStation 4 and on PC and it's it's very playable in both circumstances end game play is a little out there because you have to tab back and forth between a ton of uh, like bars especially if you're trying to DPS and heal at the same time but uh, it's just on the other side of the mountain okay so it was just it was just over there and they just found it by tunneling Yeah, well, it looks pretty dumpy in comparison. Also, like, if they're really turning 14 into a sort of, like, Smash Brothers greatest hits of not only Final Fantasy, but also just, like, really good JRPG and J Japanese, like, story content in general. Oh, hold on. And, uh, oh, wait. I'm gonna misspell it. Does it have to be K? Or... Yeah, okay. Maybe it has to be K-sensitive. Monster Hunter collab is pretty well. I still have yet to do that. That, uh, that dungeon is still in my queue. Man, a Witcher crossover. I would be so into that. Or like a Cyberpunk crossover? That means even, that makes even less sense, but... Yeah, the, Wit the Witcher Cross Monster Hunter was pretty cool. Like, you get to play as Geralt, using signs, and... Ugh, so wild. Stream run 3 of Nier yet? No. I've done the 24 hour and then one more thing where I finished uh, Route B. And I'm on Route C, so... Uh, I will try to get it in sometime this week. There's a Xenoblade or Xenosaga. I played 14. Hmm, not yet. What do you think of the new Cyberpunk trailers? Do you mean the, uh, the Night City Wire? Or, I think, maybe they released trailers in addition to that. Uh, I, I think I remember seeing, like, gun customization trailer or something like that. Oh, ah, looked really cool. Seemed like there wasn't a whole lot to, uh, yeah, Sonic. Uh, the weapon one and such, okay, yeah. I mean, there's, there's not, I don't think there's a whole lot to, like, really, really, really dive into there. Just really cool to see more, see in more detail the features that uh, Cyberpunk's going to offer. There. And the Samurai, yeah, the music part I think was my favorite. The interview with uh, Refused was really, really cool. To kind of see him come to realizations about like performing but acting as a performer, like, it was wild. Yay! We saved the robot girl. Uh, oh yeah, I, I uh, cleaned up the old inventory. That's one thing I did. Yeah, and I think I sold a ton of stuff. There's so many crafting, like, bits in this game. I told myself that if I ever did take up crafting, I'd probably just buy what I need instead of holding on to, like, the two chicken drumsticks I got 18 years ago. We can buy houses? Yeah. Player housing is a whole thing. That's my understanding, anyway like cause class divides to be very apparent we're all so tiny <laughs> she's so tall tall and angry I don't know. I don't know if she's as uh, down to business as 2B is. That's the way to do it? Or get a crafting pre-made pack? Like, 
d is that on the is that on like the auction house or something? People just make do people make like bundles of exactly how many items you need to level up? Ah, uh, I see. It's more the, the housing thing. That's more how how much of a worthless loser you are, and consider and wait at a lot for hours so you can snag the first plot. Ah, okay. <laughs> So, okay. So, yeah. First come, first serve always prioritizes the people who have the liberty of, uh, staying up all night just to get a thing. Yeah. She's six feet of ass in a six feet one inch frame. Oh, what? Alright, well, this is going off the rails. See? It's a mega mix of everything hyper nerds like. to run so fast. He's so scared. Oh. Sky Kitty Starship. You want me to... I, I fully... I now fully uh, christen your new name. Thank you for the sub. I would not put it past Yoko Taro to allow this to be canon with Nier. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Whoa! Oh! What? Oh, the animes are out, and they're mad. By that, I mean the near cannon makes no sense, and he likes it that way. Yeah. Oh, shield. That's cool. What's going on here? Uh, Ramza, thank you for the sub. They control either uh, their outfits. Little, little Photoshop reference for y'all. Don't, don't stab Tiny Boy. Be good, Nugget. Oh shit. That might be 2B, but it could be any other B unit. Does 2B have, like, a unique haircut? <laughs> 3B. Yeah, sure. You know what? Yep. Yeah. 4B? Also that. Yeah, why not? Uh, do you look back your time on the Spice Gauntlet fondly? Yeah, that was a really fun... That was a fun day. Um, that was that was a fun experience. I'm glad I got to, like, ride the cow chop train one time before they, uh, they packed it in. That was wild. So I wonder, since they turned white, which is reminiscent of, like, um, reminiscent of the Death Eaters, I think they call them? The way that they look, like, very marble. I wonder if this is, like, light magic infiltrating them and turning them crazy. Wah. Light Eaters. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Given that the, the association with the color white is typically not a good thing in Shadowbringers, um, given the, uh... It had to do with, like, the imbalance of the magics, and light element is one of them, like fire, earth, whatever. And light was too... There was too much light. Too much. Throwing everything off. That was the idea of Shadowbringers. Yeah, what near... Think what near thing could be the reason for the white? No, I know. Um, rather, I don't think I have enough insight from... Oh, it is 2B. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess Adam has white hair. 
It is, um, this, this may be a cultural mis, mis, uh, mis, assertion, but I know that in, in Japan, like culturally white is the color of death. Um, so that's why villains typically, or my interpretation is that's why typically villains have white hair. Uh, and white is typically seen as like the erasure of stuff. White is seen as like zero, it's nothingness. Which is why their flag is pretty cool, because it's like life and color and the sun, red, against a white background of nothingness and death. Uh, but typically, yeah. Pulp-wise, pulp whenever I see a... Uh, I thought white was purity. That's more of a Western interpretation. White is, is like virginity, and white is uh, purity, like you said. Um, that's my understanding. I am not a cultural scholar in everything except Japan and only Japan. I do recall there was a famous, what was it? There was like, I, I think it might have been done on purpose when the U.S. sent like a white battle carrier to just park off the uh, the coast of Japan. And it was like half of a cultural whoopsie, half like we know what we're doing. I think, I can't remember the actual story. That's such a fuzzy thing to say, but there was some, there was some historical instance of, uh, I can't remember if it was on purpose or not, which kind of changes the story dramatically. Yeah, white is the color of your J.O. crystal when it's fully charged, which is also why, uh... Which is also why, yeah. He's sitting on this giant behemoth, but his little, his teensy little toothpick legs just have to kind of pop forward. He doesn't actually... His feet don't touch the ground. Just kicking back. <sighs> Rob says, today marks one year since my dad died, also a year since I stopped drinking and smoking. So to distract myself, I spent the last five hours watching our YouTube highlights and old Funhouse stuff. Well, Rob, I'm glad I can I can be there for you when you need something to take your mind off stuff. Um, I'm very sorry to hear that you've been through some shit, but it sounds like you're making positive changes. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, 465, okay. Well, back to the story then. Two bees back! Yay! White is a symbol of purity in Japan as well. Also symbolizes sacred godly things. That's why Miko swears it. Miko swear it? What's a Mikos? Go and check the market boards for 480 gear. I mean, yeah, I could do that. I, I have to do the story anyway. And I assume that by playing story quests, they'll give me, like, you know, those little, like, lockers of inven or equipment. So, I gotta do it anyway. I may as well. Uh... find 14 has too much of a learning curve? Hmm. I guess it depends what, you, what how you're playing it. If you get in and start leveling by just doing dungeons, then I could see how that might be a little a little over, overwhelming. Ah, a shrine maiden. Gotcha. So it doesn't give any gear. That's in progression. You're at max level right now. Okay. Never mind then. Yeah, then just one or two pieces of gear ought to, ought to tip me over. Okay then. Well, yeah, I will do that. Let me uh, let me just knock out this one story quest, and then I'll go hit up the, uh, the trading. Whoa. Gotta. This is what being small is good for. You just slip right on through. Yeah, the epic music. You're just cruising around. The most most towns have like a day and a night theme, and the day theme is usually extremely like bright and amazing and filled with life and color and activity. Smaller hitbox, yeah. Yeah, Captain, I'm sure I have like a, a like a 430 ring or something like that. I actually got a pretty good dump of equipment last time I played. Some of the people in, in chat came out of the woodwork to give me free free stuff. Get that streamer bonus. Oh yeah, this is Laura recap. Um, okay, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. As soon as I get to a dialogue point that doesn't seem like it's gonna auto forward. Okay. One second, guys. We got to come back for some more time, and then uh, and then a near raid, if I uh, if I do my moves right. Uh, Miko's a shrine maiden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies in white and red, which is also I realized the uh, the robes that white white mages wore, in uh, in Final Fantasy typically. Get back back in a second, guys. Ugh, damn. Too many chills, man. It's so good. I do like how. Uh, sake of the recording we were just watching the um what was it called 
Ah, I just looked the name of it. Anyway, the uh, this the like cinematic of the story event going from 1.0 to 2.0. Yeah, that's how the Warrior of Light is transferred to the source. They actually like they depict an in like a named NPC like moving your character <laughs> to, to like the new to Realm Reborn. That's super cool. The way that they actually managed to write Warrior of Light, aka your character, into the narrative. Um, super, super smart. I don't know that I've ever seen another game do it like that. Especially in an MMO, where everyone has to believe that they're the Warrior of Light, you know? It's usually like... Um, I play this most recently, but like, the way Star Wars The Old Republic does it, it's always like, Hey, you're a member of a group, and you're a special guy. Or like, oh, graduating class of knights, go, go and knight. Oh, you're the one who saves the realm. That's always kind of the flow. What was the worst thing about Old 14 Online? Like 1.0? There's just nothing to do. There was zero content. Like Anthem, Anthem in Spades. It was, it looked good. That was the one thing it had going for it. It actually looked really good for 2010. But the only thing to do, and in this in this way, it was actually kind of similar to 11. Um, there were some story quests, and then all you had were like randomly generated quests, and they were all fetch quests or crafting delivery quests, and that was it. That's all you had for most, like, 95% of the game was, uh, let's go kill five animals. Uh, and then you do it, you turn it in, and you get another one, go kill five different animals. Yeah. You hate their ears? They're elves. Yeah, it's so, it is, it was boring. I gave up very quickly. Um, it was like, it was weird. Lack of content, wasn't it? Yeah? Okay. I played, played like shit. Items had no icons. UI didn't work. There were eight steps to exit out of the game. Leveling skills was shit and was awful. Content wasn't the problem. The gameplay was. Huh, man. Content was the problem for me. I guess I didn't even get to those levels of gameplay. Um, for me, like, once, once I did, like, a few evenings of just leave quests, and that was all that was in the game to do, I was like, <laughs> nah. Looked like shit? I thought it looked really good. I remember being really impressed with how it looks, um, but this was just at launch. Uh, I only played at launch and walked away. And then I came back when they launched 2.0. Yeah, so weird to think where it came from. Huh, maybe I should have picked the other dialogue option. I feel like I have a better fix on what the Warriors of Light are up to than uh, the State of the Crystarium. Didn't they make also make uh, Crystal Tower mandatory for 5.3? Is 14 the only MMO game to do a hard reset? No. I mean, mm, of the whole game. Mm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. The Bless of a Reset. I mean, that's technically what they're doing, right? With Bless Unleashed. There have been some things like that. Where they take it down and then they launch it again later with a, re with a rework. Oh, Elder Scrolls Online was hard reset? Okay. Tolthawil, legendary first king of Lakeland, Rodfort, and Saulard. The fabled drawn and galgent duo of Voebert. Lore. I like how you're watching a scene of a, a librarian literally telling you lore. This is lore. Yeah. Big lore time. Tiyuna of Ronka. I'm telling you about all the past JRPG heroes that have come and gone. It is kind of interesting how this is a, like, it's almost like Marvel style. This is a world where there are many, or have been many, warriors of light. So, like, that tiering means that you are one of many already. Hmm. 
Yeah. And that's that's the best part. I appreciate Captain doing the work in chat, but like this game is free to play up to the first expansion, which is a astounding amount of content that they have just now reorganized. Brought it up to kind of more modern plot pacing standards. Not as much filler. I was grateful for the filler back in the day. That's some pretty wicked art. Damn. That is a, some pretty classic Final Fantasy artwork, too. Isn't Norvrant also a location? Oh, wait. That, that's what they're saying. Never mind. That kind of looks like the warrior from Final Fantasy 1. That had the big, big horns. Or was that one of the villains? I remember Golbez maybe looking like that. That is the first Warrior of Light? I thought so. Hold on a second. Oh, this isn't Steam. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, it sure is. All right. Oh, it, this is from Dissidia, but like, Dissidia goes back. I don't even know if the original character art for Final Fantasy 1 exists. Uh, yeah, I remember him looking more like that in the NES game. He, he was definitely red, but I think this is this is like what he looks like or how how final fantasy one warrior is depicted now which is not really a character and as much as like i don't even know the name of the character from dragon quest that's pretty cool though kind of respecting weird amounts of uh final fantasy meta canon yeah they changed his look yeah for the city i'm pretty sure because he would look more like just a western 80s like barbarian warrior if uh if they kept it true to i think the original sprite work but yep yeah. it's it's interesting to me that when people talk about like oh is there a classic jrpg to play this one never really comes up even though there's nothing more classic than just hitting a button and tabbing through text one window at a time and you do that a lot and i love it but most people would probably think that's really boring. You can skip all this stuff if you want to, but... I'm in it for the lore, baby. A little bit. I have a very passing relationship with Final Fantasy XIV lore. I think I get the, the I get most of the important bits. Like, I, I, I kind of hook onto the character drama a lot more than just the myriad layers of, of meta, meta story. Hmm. Here's the original Warrior of Light, Light Art. Doesn't look like he does in game. This is what was around. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's totally the original Amano work. That is That was not uncommon, actually. For Amano to do character uh, portraits that then really didn't go into the game at all. At a point, it almost felt like Amano's contributions were done just for the name association. It didn't seem like they used a lot of his artwork, uh, like once no Nomura started sort of guiding the visual presence of Final Fantasy, but like, this is kind of what Final Fantasy looked like six and before. Um, and then it, you know, kind of slid into to like plating, zippers, belts, that sort of deal. Uh, more like, I guess, modern sort of anime pop aesthetic. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's strange. I feel like uh, I feel like Lost Odyssey is probably the the Final Fantasy that is actually the closest to Amano's vision. Um, not that that's a good or a bad thing. It's just interesting to me that Amano's always associated with Final Fantasy, despite the game's not really looking like his artwork much at all. Um, yeah, me too, Apoc. I love Lost Odyssey. The, the more time goes by, the more fondly I remember that game. But yeah, Alphino is like... He's in the process of, like, breaking down anime lore. They're always very clinical when talking about magic and heroes and legend and... But such distinctions are immaterial to the masses. Yep. Thanks. Alpha knows a man after my own heart. Talks at length about matters that people may only incidentally be curious in. Wish Mistwalker would get some funding for something that isn't a phone game. I agree. Mistwalker's run was really, really, really good. Uh, I, I would be more torn up about it, but for the fact that we are awash in really good JRPGs, so. 
Whatever. Heidelin did call me a warrior of light. And yes, this, after like seven years of plot, I think 14 is finally getting to the kill and dethrone god parts of Final Fantasy, which is fun. Do you have a voice for your character? I think I did. I can't remember what it was. I think it might just be anime cool guy. Um, which seems to fit him pretty well. Alize is better than Alpha now. Yeah, I mean Alize is Alize, Alize has tact and nuance and social grace. Primals are effectively gods. Been there since day one. That's true. It's interesting how they keep like inserting layers above that. But yeah, you're right. Uh, that is that is kind of the dynamic. But primals are kind of more more part of a pantheon as opposed to like. Finding one single entity that guides all of creation and stabbing it until it's dead. <laughs> I like how even the librarian was like, you guys are talking about nerd shit way too much. I'm gonna... I'll take a step out. Rhine... Oh, no, she's right there. Oh, do we have a bumbling assist... Oh... She was a little baby bunny girl. Riki Tio. What data center are you on? Primal. Hopefully you're there too. Uh, I've been trying to get a cross world link shell going. My precious tomes. You goddamn idiot. Don't knock over his special books. This is a man who deeply cares about his books. He overplucked his eyebrows. He's so fraught with worry about these books. One, uh, one unintended benefit of playing a, uh, a magical potato man is that a lot of the camera framing is accidentally much, much, much more funny. Because uh, it's always lower and pointing up to NPCs you're talking to. So you get this like really dramatic uh, wide-angle potato shot every time they do an over-the-shoulder from your hero. Aww. Stupid bunny girl is fangirling. Oh, you're on EU? Ah, uh, okay. Got an alt on US data center, can't remember which one. I remember in Stormblood an enemy kneels when he yells at you if you're a Lollafell. That's good stuff, man. Cute. Yeah, Iceman, that's... 14... Hey! There's somebody I know. I see an orange name in there somewhere. Rodbert. Oh, I have to... I need to kind of find some potions and heals people. You're gonna be, uh... What's the... Yeah, I guess Apothecary is the, is the Final Fantasy job. I don't see any head pads in this log here. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I'll just be here waiting for my head pat. This is current patch, Marcus, yeah. Apothecaries. The most important job in Final Fantasy Tactics. Spagyrix? Whatever. Anime, baby. Last one to Spagrix is a rotten egg. Yeah, it's that it's that like crappy late 90s California surfer guy with a little bit of gravel. Uh, or really just blowing air. It's not really even gravel. Yeah. Where's where's my head pat? Like, I want him to sound like he just flicked a cigarette away every time he starts talking. That's that's the voice of Cloudoroth Cephaloud right there. Breathy, mildly douchey surfer dude. Yeah, you've nailed it, <laughs> Ilyano. Like he just he just sort of trips into doing everything right, and he he owns every part of his accidental success. That's that's this stupid little nugget. Hey, what's up, BM's bub? It's good to see you. All right, I'm gonna go buy some stuff. Uh, where is that?
Trader, Terrain Master. Is there a marketplace here? No, I think it's in Yulmore. I think. Yeah, alright, hold on. Whoop, south, alright, never mind. South. Well, all right. I'll say I know for a fact this is driving everyone absolutely insane. That's fun. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Damn it, he's gone. I'm pretty sure that said gentler Paizuri. I think I have to be up there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. No? Oh, never mind. It's under? Oh, it's right in front of me! God damn, okay. Here we go. And we forget their class rotation? Uh... I forget the buttons. I It's not so much for, for White Mage, it's not necessarily about rotation as it is like... Uh, right heel for the right time, and remembering that button in a moment of duress can be difficult. Let's, let's see what I'm dealing with here. Uh, on, armor. Let's get to 465, yeah. Armor's... well... Armor, belt. belt. Yeah, rings aren't, aren't helping at all. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. So it's weird. It's like 480, but less defense, but probably better, way better stats. So minus 400, yeah. I just won't get hit. Oof, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Let me tumble on down the, uh, the, uh, wait. Yeah, let me tumble down the item rating list a little bit. Is it sorted by item level? It is. Okay. Yeah, 415 is the next one. Might just have to get it. Let's see about belts. Uh, Neo Gear? Huh? What's Neo Gear? I forget that not everyone has hundreds of millions of gil. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember. I think I gave a lot to like my my guild recently because I was just like I don't play much. They could use it. I think they were raising money for housing, so I was like, yeah, I'll contribute. Why not? That's okay. Gotta play within boundaries, you know? It makes it it's what makes games fun. Yeah, four, 480. 140? Okay, it seems like going to 480 is gonna be a, like 150. But that's alright. That's not so bad. I'll get one of these bad boys. And then. What else was 450? Trousers. I think the belt was like. Okay. 480. And... Okay, yeah, this, this should. This ought to do it. Yeah! Okay, let's go, uh. Time to queue. Blam. Blam. Is this your first 50 character? You mean 80? Um, how many hours you got logged? I don't know. I don't remember the, the command, but a lot. Is it like playtime? Um, if you type it in, or if you tell me the command, I'll run it right now. Playtime? Okay. 31 days, 17 hours, and 8 minutes. Ooh, 
Oof. Seven hundred, almost seven hundred and fifty hours. Um, I don't know if that's only time logged in. I don't know if that counts of me like walking away on the login screen or something. But I've spent so much more time. Yeah, Captain, it, it definitely sounds like you're in it. You're in it for life. Um, I kind of am too, but I, d I definitely haven't played as much as you have. Obviously, two hundred two days. Oh, you're at seven hundred ninety days. That rules. Ah, oh, so many memories, dude. It's all time logged, but just for that character. Okay, it's not account wide. This is the only character I've ever really played, so. I mean, why? I guess you would run another one for, like. Or you'd roll another one for, um. Aesthetic reasons, but you can even. Uh, what's the word? Pretty. What? It's like the thing you do to make yourself look different. Fantasia? Master Yoda talking to the kids in the Jedi Temple. Oh, look at how tiny. Wearing a stupid little jacket. She wants to make potions. Must head pet, yeah. What if she gives you a good potion, and it's a really good potion, and it restores a lot of HP? Oh, no, absolutely not. All she wants is a head pat for her wonderful potion that she worked very hard on. Ah. there was an IRL command for playtime and games. Gotta be pushing 5k across all Monster Hunters I've played. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. I mean, there are services that expose cumulative playtime. I guess you might have to add it all up, but... Is there a way to get account-wide playtime? Uh, probably not. It wouldn't be that hard, right, to log into each character and just add it up. But yeah, depending on how many characters you have, I guess. Oh, uh, we gotta go find some... Garlic root or ginger or something. Sweet sieve? Alright. Oh. Having having a, a thousand hours in Rocket League does not make you a casual, but I do think sometimes it took me a while to kind of get that no matter how passionately I felt about something, there's somebody out there who's more passionate. No matter how much I self-identify with a thing, there's somebody else who is more of that thing. Which, uh, creates perils when it comes to self-identification through, uh, through, like, behavior. Or through, uh, association. Yeah. Iliando, uh, it's funny you, you mentioned that, like, I'm the warrior of light, but I still gotta collect herbs. They, uh, hold on a minute. Something looked like it was gonna fall. Um... That is a, a fairly common occurrence. It has to be. You know, you can't always be saving the galaxy. Uh, but there are, like, you, you save the world, and then you dip back into, like, repairing political relationships and getting farms working again. Like, you really are just sort of a... I, I do appreciate the quest lines they write, because they do have you doing menial tasks, but it never really feels like... Uh, it, it, f it feels important to the story to some degree, so... I mean, in this, in this regard, you're collecting herbs, but it's not just because they need herbs. It's because you're mentoring a... Uh, somebody who wants to be a grand JRPG uh, warrior hero or apothecary healer so I do appreciate the uh, the efforts they go to to make uh, templated quests interesting uh, PKO net thanks for the reset gamer McGee thanks for the prime mag Buddhist mag Buddhist mag mag Bootus. Thanks for the prime. Ramza Art, thank you for the sub. Oh, baby. Cool. That's the... That's the bunker. It's not in space. I'm showing up just to talk shit. Hmm. Thank you for the resub, PK.
Look at all these sparkles. Okay, let me remember where my spells are. Yeah, Dia... Fudora I don't even really touch anymore. Regen's important. Okay, Divine Benison... Like, the... Some of the Shadowbringers abilities I use a lot. Um, some of them I'm still remembering how to use. Uh, using the, like... What is it? The one that does Confession is... Is it Plenary Indulgence? Drunken Librarian! Thanks for the sub! A sub bomb? I appreciate the ten subs. This is kind of creepy with no music. I appreciate that. Well, it's one of the reasons I love uh, Witcher so much. It's part of Geralt's job. He does the shit professionally. Yeah! It makes it, uh, it, makes it all add up, doesn't it? Uh... Shax Noir. Dingberry. I mean, they put them all here. Why are people spreading out? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Planar Indulgence grants confession and then gives you bonus healing on... Um, uh, a AoE heals. So, that's control R. Oh, sh wait, what? There's an overlap? Do you want to stay in the overlap or not? I guess? Yes? Oh, or, or not. Alright. Go to your group, you're in B. I was trying to stay near my, um, my tank. How can you- oh, it says B right there, never mind. I popped my uh, MP regeneration right before I died, too, so I'm not going to be able to do much for a little bit. Where are you? Uh, where are you? I don't... Oh, I don't have enough MP. I'm going to wait. There we go. understand what I'm intended to do here. Oh, okay. Just gotta be patient, I guess. getting my instance. That's a whoopsie. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Who's the... Well, yeah, I need blood for the blood lily. Forgot about that until right at the end there. Um, I guess we didn't kill the... Uh, Kill that dude fast enough. Also, what's so venison? Place rapture. I thought you can use lilies on a on an AOE heal too, right? Right. Okay. Solace is the targeted heal. Rapture is the is the AOE. Right. Oh. How long has that been there? Crap. 
I am, man, I am, I am so bad right now. <laughs> Sitting on a res. I see now. Oh, okay. Damn it. Okay. Crap. I didn't see that before. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, that tells you where it's going to... I, I remember seeing the ring and be like, how are you supposed to know? Okay. need all the, the healing log lines in here. That's the battle log, never mind. Okay. Oh. okay, I got it. How long has that been there? Sitting on a raise. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, how do you know it's gonna shoot? I guess it slows down slightly before. I don't know how that other dude didn't get hit by that. Yeah, always some growing pains. What? Okay, so sometimes they separate and sometimes they don't? The first time I got hit with that because they didn't separate. Every time after that they did, and then that time it didn't. So what... Is that just a hit you're supposed to take sometimes? Hmm. Yeah, you gotta smell it. You gotta feel it. Or maybe you're just supposed to be in the center so you don't get shoved off. Look at the laser on the machine itself. Some of those cones move faster and slower. Spot the right one. All right. All right. I will look for that next time. Look for the two overlaps that are closer to each other. Okay.
Man, this is wild. There's a lot going on here. I love busy raids. Yeah, I mean, these get, these get very busy, that's for sure. Okay, let me see if I can... Yeah, okay, these two are, are narrowing faster. Okay. Okay. Now I get it again. For real this time. Yeah! Move too early. Man! Uh, I was so excited to play again. That person must be so frustrated. They've resurrected me like five times and I die immediately. Every time. Somebody's casting on me. I'm gonna wait for this attack to be over. want to stay alive for like three seconds Christ uh. fuck god okay Have any mana? Okay. Thin air, right? Forgot about that. Uh, and I'm not using Benediction or uh, or Tetragrammaton either. I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to use Thin Air. How are we doing? Oh, we almost. Well, they almost got it. Where did I put thin air? Uh, 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 let's go. 
control three, all right? Ah! Okay. Fuck, man. <laughs> Some AOE, they, uh... <laughs> they draw on the ground. Some of you have to look at the, the like, enemy model to see it coming. Uh, Yorha-type boots of scouting. <laughs> it's pretty hard raid to heal as your first attempt. Yeah, there's just tons and tons of AOEs. That's what makes healing so weird, uh, wild, is that all they have to do is throw down, like, stacked AOEs, and you your healing game is so different, because you can't stand in one spot to channel a, channel a cast. Um... Yeah, managing cast timers and, and not standing in AoEs is such a big deal. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. That's not good. Tank separated from his healer. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, there's a lot of name there's a lot of name cards there. A lot of robots getting their asses kicked. I'm standing in fire! I couldn't see it. Yeah. Why can't I? Oh, that's Dia, never mind. What? Control F is Asuna. Alright. I'm trying to remember my dang, my dang buttons, man. There's a lot of them. A lot of buttons. It's coming back, though. It's coming back. Uh, I wasn't... I was concerned about how rickety I'd be. Turns out the answer is fairly rickety. Oh! Whee! We're coming in here, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have pods. That's a fair amount of sparkles. Clackety clackety clack. Oh, god damn it. I see nothing but giant stripes of AoE throwing down on the ground in the middle of me trying trying desperately to heal people. Right, I need to I need to use um play to souls more in those situations I think. Oh wait, not the skill I thought I was. I really like the Aflatus skills that they added in, in Shadowbringers. I, I love... it's such a cool idea to, um, to pair, like, different kinds of healing with DPS generation. It means, like, to some degree, uh, like... Uh, shoot, what's the... Let's just see, okay. Uh, that, like, DPS is not just what you do when you have no healing to do. It's what you do if you're healing the right way. Ah, thought I was getting out of that. 
Those went off a lot faster than I thought they would. Yeah, that's an oof. Fuck, man. Oh, okay. Oh, you... Ah, oh, shoot. There's a lock on it? I didn't know that. Fuck. Fuck! Yeah, I got sprint. Oh no, he's looking- yeah, I'm looking where the enemy was. Was? I- I guess I haven't been trained to spin my head around in 360 every time that shit happens. Also, I was trying to heal my party. There's every reason in the world to look in that direction, but yeah, I know this game is, uh... Can be a little- a little testy sometimes. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't feel like I should be near people with this. Oh, it means I spawn the AoEs, maybe. Is that what that means? Oh, it's just that one, okay. Are you? Shax, wait, wait, where did he go? What? Oh! Crap, I was at the wrong party. Fuck. It's not marked. Wrong button. Oy. Everyone's dead. I gotta wait for MP. I should wait for swift cast. Maybe I can just stand here? Shit. Nope. Fuck! Dude! Ah! Oh! This is so wild, man. This is so mean. They did not take it easy on this. Hmm. Now this is hard, man. Those AoEs drop fast. We gotta get moving. No! Already? Really? Okay, I think I might be okay. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Did I get him? Okay. Uh, stop, stop, stop. No! He's already dead. He died again. He died already. Okay. I was like hoping he wouldn't move, but I've done that a million times. Oh, I got very lucky. I wasn't even really paying attention. Shax is down again. Wrong, he wasn't up yet. Oh boy. Oh. No, he just got rested. Fuck! Uh. Sprint is uh great. Oh man. You gotta like man. Eating it so much. 
like this. Fuck you, Yoko. This Medica 2 violent blend game. Yeah, it's necessary in game. Uh, in certain in certain circ circumstances. Um, fuck, I'm getting hit. Okay. From a sudden point of view. I guess anytime I don't see robo uh, like robo jets in front of me, I need oh, fuck. I need to be uh, looking for them. Fuck! 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 Sorry. Way too early. Oh. Okay, we're stabilizing shockingly. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. I'm dead. The, if that circle ever appears on me, I die. I don't know how to outrun it. Um, uh, we lost our tank again. to get hit with something terrible. Laser. Where's the third one? I don't know what this means. I really don't like it. What the f How did I not get hit with that? Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Alright, that's okay. Perhaps it is not for me to understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's mega trolly to, to stack, like, AoEs in different spots. Where you're like, you have to watch the ground, but also them floating in the ether, and they happen right after one another. So you spend all your energy just trying not to blow up. One of these days I won't have res, res sickness. I believe in me. Keep an eye on their blade hands. Can you see hands in there? 
I mean, I, I know that part of that is if you turn off battle effects, it becomes a lot easier to visually parse, but I don't want to. It's a big glowing sword. Is that that giant red thing that didn't look like a sword? I will, I will try my best. I don't know what that tells you, though. It was, like, sticking out to the side, and it went forward, so... Oh, healing. I don't know if I'm allowed to roll again. No, I'm not. Shit. I didn't know that if I greeted on something that I wouldn't be able to roll. Fuck, man. How long am I locked out? God, I wish they would tell you something like that. Well, I wasted my, like, loot drop on something I can't even wear. MMOs. Da -da 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 A week. Awesome. Very cool. This is neat, though. You get to be in the bunker. Whee! Only one item per week? Yeah, sick. It told me when I won it that, oh, you don't get to roll again for a very long time. <laughs> Never not appreciate the battle reses? Yeah. The game is pretty enabling of that, at least. <gasps> We're in the briefing room. Oh. That's pretty cool. You're in past two B's room? Yeah, I saw. I saw the nameplate. <laughs> oh, drunken librarian? Oh, 21 out. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, thank you for the sub bomb, drunken. Some of them are high and low. Does that mean one will go first and then the other one? Oh, oh, it's distance. All right. Well, what? Okay, so it goes out. Now I know. Now I know. This music is great, though. Wow. Ah! Wasn't paying attention. Self-consciousness data, huh? What are you doing? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ads. Uh oh. Oh. We get, to, we get bullets from behind. Learning, slowly. If you feel safe, it's because you're not looking around enough.
sweeping. Okay. Pots from the game. That's cool. Like that. Shit, shit, shit. What does that mean? I'll probably stand in the thing, I bet. Like one person has to be in each thing, probably. Okay, all right. No! Yeah. That still hit me. Fuck. somewhere else. Dang it, I'm out of range. Oh, shit, that's both. Oh, they just didn't do the other one? All right. Yeah, this is the raid boss. This is a new raid. Huh? 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 Why are they all twisty like that? Fuck. I'm gonna die. I have no idea how to dodge that. Like, do you just take the lesser hit and try and go through? Somebody did it. Okay. What? Man, at least the at least the reses are fast. Well, my cooldowns are good or bad. I can shit. Oh man, I don't have any of them. Are you gonna let me get away with this? I guess they will. Okay, we got a bullet wave. At least this is shorter. Oof. That's how you eat both of those.
Could have done better there, but I'm glad that everybody... Everybody's, everybody's bonded together to make me feel like... Oh! I feel like I didn't kill people that time. Appreciate that. Almost got him. That was a very angry yell. Use the restroom. Uh, I felt that tickle coming in. I was like, mm. enough sparkles yet. Oh boy, this is sparkly. Whew. No, I haven't done the main quest much, Linky. Man. God damn you, Yoko. And bullets that you just have to eat when you're at the front, I guess. Oh, okay. No, you can see him coming a little bit. Ah. I guess the bullets don't hurt that much. Boy, did the lasers ever, though. Ah. <laughs> now there's walls in the way. <laughs> oh man. Ow. Oh, you have to beat all all pieces? Okay. God damn it. And the bolts go back and forth now. How do I have the chat perfectly bottom left? Uh, that's not Twitch chat. That is in-game chat. If that's what you're referring to. Oh, they're casting on me. In game my chat can't be moved and isn't perfectly fitted. I'll just use the there's a UI editor. Um Bonk. Oh wait. I mean you can you can drag it around from there and then you can move it, I think, from this tab if it's not locked. I think. Yeah, grab tab one and move it. Look at that. Uh oh. Somebody's played the game. Steph might be playing COD. This would be a pretty good time to, to bring in COD cam. I might try that. Oh, I have to use the restroom so bad, though. And this fight might take a while. Oh, crap. Yeah, it was Adam. All right. Or whatever that is. Ah! I'm 
am I going to fight a giant like Android Pile? Oh no. I think I saw a butthole. It's like, I'm, ugh. it's going to be like a, what, like a legion? Like an android ball? Holy crap, man. The compound. That's all, that's all octal. Or hex, excuse me. Oh, well, maybe not. Hold on. No, I can't. I can't. I can't go, I can't be away. People are already dying. God damn it, you assholes. Whoa. I have to fight ball. Great. I don't like this. Alright, no no piss pants time, I'll be right back. Ooh, back into it. We're not done somehow, we're not dead. Still going, still going. Oh shit, you gotta run in for this, right? Oh, oh almost made it. <laughs> this guy's HP is falling like a fat kid downstairs. <laughs> oh man. Catered Lock is on this shit. I have to admit, I gotta send them a thank you after this. Shit. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was dead. I swore I was dead. Okay. Not dead yet. Dang, man. Shit's about to get wacky. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, the ball of- the ball of androids wasn't weird. <laughs> There's no way people are gonna want to watch this cutscene every time. I guess they'll have to. Oh, come on. Alright, well now it's a Final Fantasy boss, I guess. I can't say I was expecting that. I can't say. Compound 2P. Alright. Sure. Sure, why not? People, why are people walking away? Oh, okay. I don't like this. Oh! I saw it just a second too late. So she telegraphs where she's gonna hit. Yeah. Because everybody's in here now. Stand in it? Oh no. Oh, there's two now. Okay. Oh, 
Yes, of course. Oh, okay, so there's two and you have to guess which one is going to be the right one to stand in. Alright. Again with these troll, trolly ass mechanic. Ah! ever be looking at me. Ever. Oh, good. Um... Eh. Gotta pay more attention to the ground, I guess. Oh. Speaking of paying attention to the ground. There was like lines flowing from one to another. That's probably important somehow. Probably. done? Oh, somebody already got him? Somebody already got him. Uh. How are you supposed to know that? I got lucky. Reproduce? You're not allowed to do that. That's her like twirly attack, right? Yeah. I wonder why everybody was staying in for that one. Oh. That's what that ha that okay. Oh my gosh. Um, Ryan Peters? That's rare. I, I never get to limit break. That felt fun. Oh god, everybody's already dead. Uh -uh. Oh shit. Ah! Wait, do I stand in it or not? Do you still have to stand in them if they're lit up?
I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know that mechanic. Uh. Also, I can't remember where I put the ability that like gives me angel wings and makes me a super healer for a while. I don't remember where I put that. Temperance. Yes. What is that on? Four? Oh, it's not bound. I guess it should be Alt F. Um, hmm. Alt F might be something else. Oh shit. Ah. That was dumb of me. Yeah, why isn't that? Oh, it's just F. Never mind. Press F for temperance. Okay. Oh wait, did I get a revive that I just killed? I don't know. Did you get to- oh, there it was. <laughs> Thank you, Iliando. For capturing my hero moment. Okay, so she does a twirl, and then all of her copies teleport and twirl as well. Alright, okay, so you have to get near here to not get twirled. Maybe even more in the corner. Alright. multiple how are you supposed to know <laughs> you're not you're just supposed to get bopped by it but um it's just man it's wild Ooh, yeah Triple Triad card. Hopefully that doesn't count as gear. Only 20? <laughs> I think the, uh... Didn't the other ones have, like, individual bosses also did more? Yeah. Oh, a little 2P? Now we wait. Good luck getting that minion, yeah. 88's pretty high, right? That's pretty high, that's a good roll. Exactly one week from now. I'll come back, maybe I'll get better gear. Oh, thank you, Idover. Uh, did not get a card, did not get an orchestration roll. Oh, was somebody, somebody playing fast and loose, trying to wait everybody up before they roll? Ah. Wait, eight, wait, hold on. Atadia, what was the roll that beat me? I must know. Ninety-eight. Wowza. All right. Well, that's fair. And somebody got a ninety-two. Oh well, whatever. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, you guys saw it. Damn. Well, that was a ride. I look forward to doing that when I have any clue what those patterns will be like. Oh, hey, little boy. Hey, little dude. Little mans. Oh, those little clappity clap legs. Those little stompity stomp feets. Any other streamers in your raid party? No, I just did this through Party Finder. I just found some... Found some uh, 
some of the Final Fantasy XIV's player base to play with, and I'll do, I'll, hey. This is worth noting. I suck shit, that raid. I died all the time. Um, I, I did some reses and did some healing, but nobody... I mean, there, w there was some, like, I think it was more self-effacing comments in, in the Alliance chat, but nobody was mean. Um, I kept getting reses. Everyone else was like, the second I went down, even healers in other parties were throwing me reses, so... Yeah, 14 is very wholesome, and its player base, bizarrely, is, is usually extremely well-mannered and, and constructive. I've gotten, I've gotten one or two, you know, like, like nerd, nerd types that, uh, get, start getting pissy if we're not shaving three seconds off of every encounter in a dungeon or whatever, but, shockingly, like, everyone is just cool with, uh, other people playing at different speeds, which is unlikely. Oh, see ya, Eliando. Thank you for watching. We have raid, one bad raid experience, the tank called the DPS Trash and Rage Quit, uh, I've had a few people, I've had, I, I want to say I can count them on one hand, really, the, the people that just leave. Um, and even when, even then, half of those were like, oh, there's someone at the door. I mean, it could be an excuse for all I know, but it's like, I gotta go do something, I gotta go pick up my kids, you know. Because raids in this game are long, and sometimes life gets in the way. Oh, 14 is community is awesome until you criticize the game? I could see that, yeah. I could see that snapback being pretty, if it, uh, pretty vicious. Copy built by the machines, probably to fight Yora. Oh, so Machine Life is now building their own androids. Oh, Don Christian Ugalde. Thank you for the prime sub. Hopefully, I got through that correctly. Not Kojima. Thank you for the sub. Someone who is definitely not Hideo Kojima. Decimated, thanks for gifting a sub. It's your boys, it's your boy as or Stinny. All right, thanks for the prime. Appreciate you guys. In WoW days, I would never leave a part until like the fourth or fifth wipe. And only then, like if, if there's clearly no signs of any kind of progress. If, like, people are learning and we're getting better, then I, I will stay in it forever. One thing I love about 14, and I'm not going to stop plugging this, um, is that it does have, it does have like, a, a power-up mechanic called the Echo. If you lose in a, in a, a raid fight, uh, one of the, the harder raid fights, it will, like, just buff all your stats by 10% each time you die until you hit a, hit a max buff or clear it. So it's like... The game isn't like really can you beat it, it's how efficiently can you play and how many times can you run it uh, to get resources. Which is a really smart twist, right? I think so. Like why why punish somebody when they've already failed? Give them a little lift so they move through. Uh, Alright. The game wants you to win? Yeah, I mean, most games do. Most games are made to be beaten, they're made to be finished. The punishment is that it took you 50 minutes to clear it instead of 20. Whereas if you, you know, if your team was all on point, moving in, co in coordination, you could clear it and go do something else. Or clear it twice and get all your, your stones. Speaking of... <sighs> fucking poetics. <laughs> uh, is it, I guess allegory is the high level stuff. That's another thing. Maybe I can... I don't know what item level... Phantasmagoria and Allegory are, but I really didn't do a whole lot of, like, uh, tome, tome level grinding at the end of Shadowbringers. Tell that to Sekiro. Yeah, Sekiro is very much like the bar is here, and if you don't clear it, you'll just keep running into it. 14 lowers the bar every time you, you try and fail until you hit that. Like, it's nice, because you hit an intersection of the game giving you a bit of a stat buff, plus learning... Um, learning the fight more and more. And then the next time you come in, you know, it's kind of back to its original difficulty, but you also have the experience of having gone through all the phases. Oh, it is nines. I didn't remember him being in this. But then again, I had no idea who nines was when I played this the first time. Robonex, thanks for the sub. Mm. You can use coins from the new raids as well to upgrade allegory gear to 500. Coins? He's the final boss in Raid 1. Oh, man, I wish. 
I don't even remember. I remember chat recognizing him. I'll probably play the the, the near one raid again. I haven't finished near yet. No. Well, I mean, I finished it twice, which means I haven't finished it yet. There's no spoilers for Automata on this yet. Uh, Yauntman. Jauntman. Ooh, fought and beat the Marauder on Eternal the first time tonight. Nice, Bloody Brad. That's always a fun, that's a fun experience. Man, that Marauder, that's a real gamer moment right there. Stupid little shorts. His high, his knee socks. Do you have any other classes leveled? Not really. I've, I've piddled around with some, a few other classes, but not really. So when you say coins, is that an inventory? Inventory? A puppet's coin? Is that what you're referring to? Oh, Cthulhu. Yeah, I've been playing this. I've been playing this a long time. I stream it occasionally. I, I, won't, I want to stream it more. I just keep getting distracted by other games. I'm not complaining. That's like basically the best way to live, right? Oof, I'm gonna get hungry though. I'm gonna get hungry. I think I gotta take a food break. Man, I, I feel like I've barely done anything. This game is so good. This game is so nice, you guys. That that last track, mm, that music was so good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a break uh, and have a bit of a snack. Uh, maybe eat some broccoli. Okay, and I'll be right back, guys. Um, as I as I kind of put put out before, uh, I've set I've set Media Tech. I've set all the clips to just Final Fantasy stuff. So prepare for anime and sparkles, which is usually what you get here anyway. But all right, see you soon. Hey guys, uh, food break complete. And if I, wait, hold on. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm gonna test the impossible here. I'm gonna try to soar higher than ever before. Oh wait, I don't think, yeah, hold on. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soar real quick. Is lunch break a standard title or are you actually eating lunch right now? Well, I did before. Why, why would I lie about that? Um, okay, one second. I, I have to go check something. And that, by that, I mean I have to open a window and literally check something. I'll be right back. Okay, check the thing. Now, let's see. Let's see if this uh, crashes OBS. I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually... Okay. I wanted to cut my recording just in case uh, it goes down. It's working. It was working. I saw a preview window. Oh, right. Let me click on that. There we go. Huh? Okay. There. Now we get every kind of video game. All together. Like a big happy family. Uh, so, uh, now, no matter what kind of video game you want to watch, if you want to see magic spells and anime boys, you look at this window and this window. If you want to look at tactical modern action, you can watch Stephanie play Call of Duty down there. And, uh, let's pray. Let's pray that OBS holds up this time. Um, I was getting, I, I keep getting this really weird problem where in the Elgato software it keeps thinking that the uh, Xbox is sending an HDCP protected signal. So, I think somewhere in there it like crashes everything and no one knows what to handle on it, but... That's okay. Moving on. Gotta learn about these robots. As long as it doesn't cut off uh, dialogue, I guess. That looks fine. Uh, what previous planet was called the Bahamut Destroys? It's not a previous one, really. It's on the same planet, but in the future. The old calamity that's mentioned early in the game is the same calamity. Luisu Carthus, for example, used to be different. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, or Lower Carthus, is, is that what you mean? Um, I thought it was the same, like, you, you had mentioned something about sending them into another reality, or, uh, sending them into this dimension. I don't, maybe I'm misunderstanding, but, uh, I forgot a whole goddamn sentence there. <laughs> okay. I think I understand what you mean, though, because, yeah, there, there are remnants of the, that calamity in the world that you're in now. I didn't know it was to the future. That's weird. I was hoping that time travel was not a thing. I guess time dilation is a thing, so who cares? 
like time flows differently in each shard, I guess. <clears throat> I need to take my stupid hat off. Those who failed when he used the flow and sent us into the future by mistake. Where, what was it supposed to do? There. I need my boy's shaggy Final Fantasy 15 anime hair to poke out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Why do we have a COD cam? I... I don't understand sometimes. Like... Oh, I have to change the title. You're right. Wait, did I turn off COD cam? I did. Hold on a minute. Uh, I mean the the uh, the command. There are there are never things that I would expect I would have to explain. Like I would think the uh, the value of a postage stamp of Call of Duty uh, would be self evident. Yeah, I got that knocked his hairdo. I used to have a, the big old pompadour, which looked really good, but I decided to mix things up with the knocked his hair. Yeah, it's if you're a pro Twitch viewer. I want to offer... I want to offer an unparalleled experience. Um, and I, I, I endeavor in every way to do that. Uh, Lewis, who tried to imprison Bahamut and ag again, and that failed, the Twelve sent us into the future. Huh. So it was just like incidental timing? Yeah, they're understandably mad that their party got wrecked by a bunch of military kill bots. <laughs> Mecca, thank you for the cheer. Oh, that reminds me, I've, I've yet to get truly tasteless with it. That's right, I was supposed to put up, like, sub-goals that, if met, would, would activate COD cam. Shoot, I'm giving it away for free. Now well, there's always next time, I guess. There had been lots of efforts to gain favor with the Twelve during the end times. At the very last moment, they chose to send some of us into the future. Ah. Your character looks how I imagine every anime... Every <laughs> edgy anime Abby looks at IRL. Yes, right? That's why he's so perfect. Put it, do your sassy pose. There it is. Boom. Also like how he has a little keyhole. Can't remember what chest armor that is, but it's... Wait, I... Oh, that's the new stuff I got. I guess it's just this robe looks all tattered and weird. It looks like off-white. I guess I can probably dye it. I like the short sleeves, though. That's kind of nice. Man, Ugh. I have to talk to so many people. Uh oh, everyone's mad at An Anog. trying to piece together the old story seven years ago yeah i think at this point wikis have the most like direct summaries which i haven't really poked through to be honest i should i should just do like a big lore refresh to make sure that i'm all good good on it you miss larlude i do too i do too but uh we gotta move on unfortunately I'll, i need to make a, a replacement for it i can 
I'm thinking about doing some faces. I don't know, my face is very vertical. It's a weird thing. Whenever I start editing like any emotes with my face, like it's very vertical and sort of banana shaped. Which is not a bad thing, but it does make it not a great fit for conveying expressiveness in a square. Um, then it, and then I like tilt it, but then it looks weird. So, what happened to Larlude? Uh, Twitch found it. Uh, they sent me an email saying that it had been reported, but what I really think it was is I added the... I th here's Okay, so here's my suspicion. Here's what I think. Um, I added all sorts of emotes and they got auto approves. All the all the like words didn't need approval at all. They just I put them in and they went. I was like, that's weird. And the same thing with the lewd emote. I submitted it in the back end and it was just like, good, it's up. And I was like, okay, cool. I guess all right. Um, then I submitted the rage emote, the one that was drawn of me being angry, and then it said, okay, that has to be approved. Uh, and then shortly after they approved that one, the lewd emote was like reported and uh, taken down by Twitch. Um, so, either either it's very coincidental timing, or because they reviewed the Rage emote, they looked at the, the line of emotes, found that one, and was like, oh, that's not, not so great. What was the Lude emote? It was just like a... It was a not overtly disgusting Agao face. Uh, but it was Agao, so I'm, kind of. Um, and that, that's what it was. Uh, and, it, and it is technically in violation of the Terms of Service, so... Um, but it was just there for a long time. So yeah, I think it's because maybe there's like a list of commonly submitted emotes that are potentially problematic. So just because the one was called Rage instead of Gamer or uh, Time 100, instead of all the like word things that are just random words, maybe that was on some list of like, okay, these get moderated. Um, I don't know. So who knows? Some, uh, uh, just a variety of cloudy situations but I'm okay with it uh, it it there are rules against emotes that depict arousal and let's be real thing is like there are other ones that are obviously aroused it's it's the non-uniformity of the standards and I put that down to the fact that there's no way in the world that twitch can personally review every single emote added to twitch I don't think it's possible so I think the ones that that openly depict like arousal they're just there because no one's reported them. They haven't been found yet. Stuff like that. Thought of commissioning some emotes. I already have. There are many emotes in there that have been commissioned from various people. Oh, did a quick Google on 1.0 lore, and this seems like a really good read. All right. Gamerscape. The lore train. That's cool. That emote was such a thing. Yeah. Yep. Um, as usual, like sex and violent things are things people want, but are usually withheld by the platform. So whoever finds a loophole or whoever uh, pushes the line the furthest usually just gets that base, that base swath of humanity. And if you can have a titty emote, nobody else does. Can I blame myself? Anime is not a crime. Yeah. Anime is being uh, disgraced or er, uh, discriminated against yet again. <clears throat> I'm going to say it's complicated because that's the easiest answer. I'm not going to throw my my dwarf dwarf pals under the bus like that. This is my cross to die on. Yeah. Twitch doesn't have a uniform rule. And those are, those are, like, it seems like if it's cartoony. Like, yeah, all the butt emotes, you know? Oh, that's, that's a pretty juicy butt right there, Mecca. Hold on a minute. Let me mouse over that. Oh, Seagull? Yeah. That's a pretty thick butt. So, I don't know. It's not worth, uh, it's not worth sparing thoughts over, I don't think. As long as it doesn't hurt my bottom line, you know I need, you know I need that money. It's 
not an aroused butt. Yeah, but you can't like... That's that's a good point. Faces depict actual arousal, but it's not like you can have like just a... a just a raunchy pair of boobs. Yeah, you can have big old droopy butts, but... I've never seen emotes of just like a big rack. Or like a dude's abs. No, I take that back actually. I have seen a dude's abs. So it's like there's body parts. Yeah. I mean, also the, the real truth of it is you can say Twitch like it's an entity, but it's a, a million separate people making these judgment calls every day. The, the system has to like bounce back and forth. I think sometimes people think of systems like Twitch and YouTube as as video games, as a robot. You input it, you put an input in, you get output out, and that's it. It's just a giant machine. Uh, filled with circuits and computer chips that you upload streams to, and, and then it generates money. But that's, you know, there's people there. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Twitch sits in front of a, a computer with a custom keyboard that says yes and no, and he just slaps buttons all day. God damn you, Mr. Twitch. I'm glad CODCAM is working out now. I'm getting better at identifying the series of steps I need to do to verify that it will be stable. His name is Justin Twitch. Oh, you're right. His middle... Wait, shouldn't his, shouldn't his initials be TV? No. Justin dot Twitch. Got from high quality hard T12 ounces to the good old Twee Tall Boys. Jort, you having a day? You having a bit? You taking it easy today? <clears throat> Kicking back with the boys. The boys being a paper bag filled with four tall boys. They're only getting warmer. And you're... You're already critically sober. There's only one solution here. Anog, no. I'll save you. Why is Ford Local only at gas stations? It should be everywhere. That's a good question. I mean, it's at, it's at like liquor stores, but yeah. It's not like grocery... Well, no, I don't think I've ever seen it in grocery stores. Or my hands right now. Man, if I had a Ford Local, would I drink it? Man, I don't know. Ugh. Ford Locals are amazing, though. kind of artist is this? Did I not? I still... I thought... I did not change it back. What's wrong with me, man? Um... Sorry. Somebody even told me, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that, and then I didn't. Okay. I've seen for a look with a nice grocery store in my town, and it's confusing as fuck? Alright. Oh yeah, I turned on Mount Music again. This chonky, chonky boy. What's that cake so bad? He'll get it someday. <laughs> Synth guy, yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Very much appreciate the heads up. It's like the saddest version. I would like that cake. Man, Japanese cakes are so cute. They're always so perfectly round and have like slices of strawberry perfectly. Uh, it's like the most uh, symmetric cake. It's also delicious. Um, Steph and I got a cake when we were at an onsen. Um, and it was like the, it had like whipped cream frosting instead of, uh, buttercream, which is, oh, so good, guys. It was so good. 
If he gets the cake, he'll crash. I'll bounce off him. He seems like a soft burb. Love that burb. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. A sparkle wolf. You had a cake at an onsen? Yes. When we went to Japan. This is why I'm referencing Japanese cake, because it was a Japanese cake. Um, it, like, had a lot of fruit in it. Yeah. We only ate, like, half of it. I remember eating the other half in... Like, that was our last night there. Uh, and we were taking the trains to get it... To get back to Tokyo to get... To hit the airport. And, uh... We stopped in, like, a coffee shop. And, oh yeah, there was just, like, this dumpling fast food place in the train station. Where they would basically just, like, make an entire box of dumplings. Um, that were, like, filled with meat and stuff. It was, like, kind of kind of fast food in approach, but still was way better than usual. Uh, than, like, you would consider usual fast food, but yeah. Uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie loves dumplings, and so do I. Yeah, but I think it's more, it's more, it hits her soul harder than it does mine. I appreciate a good dumpling, but for her it's, like, spiritual. Were you eating well in the water? Uh, no. I didn't do that. I had a, sh a shitload of so shochu. And, uh... There was a... There was a... It was a hot springs onsen. So there was, like, a hot tub outside. Oh, it's so good. Like, gyoza or bao? Both. Um, specifically gyoza, but she's also a huge bao fan. Yeah, just thinking about that place. That place was magical. Sorry, guys, I keep adjusting. It's like, I'm trying to correct my posture, so I'm doing that a lot these days. It's really about getting the lumbar pillow squished into exactly the right spot. Hey, Action Bot. My day's going great. Um, there's new Final Fantasy content. I am a huge fan of this game. Every patch they make, every... Like, all the content they make just gets better and better, so... Right now, I'm just sort of wrapping up a uh, the Nier Automata plug-in. I'm not sure exactly how much they've added in this patch, but... What's the clothing etiquette at Onsen's? I, I put on a robe for just being around, basically. They give you a uh, a robe. And I remember, yeah, I had, to, I had to Google how to tie it, but that was fast. Twitch has added replying to specific messages. Yeah, and threads. I've only seen it raise chat. Uh, if, if I have the option to enable it, they didn't tell me anything. I do remember seeing that tweet, but, um, nah, I, I have, I haven't been pinged about it. I feel like that's maybe, um, maybe a little too much. If chat's like popping in at the bottom and also all along the, the ribbon, or the column, I feel like that, I don't know. It's certainly something that people will meme out, of, meme, the, meme the hell out of for a while. Doing like the pyramid in a forum of trying to quote re, uh, quote post as many times as possible. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. Then I guess I, I have a misunderstanding of functionally how it shows up. That's what it looked like uh, in that screenshot. Just like an app. So hold on a minute. You know, I don't, I don't, hmm. I don't know that I quite understand. Because it seems to pop up a different window. So I guess it's like you can have two sub-conversations that... I don't know if they still pop up. It's like... It's like Twitch has whispers, but I guess people... If people have multiple conversations at the same time, it's just like eight... Eight text inter intersections overlaid with each other. So I guess they're trying to separate out and organize that without making people feel like they have to go to like a separate room to talk. Um... What's happening? Did they add music playing? Oh, no, wait, it's been here, right? Wait. Is that it? There was no other... Yeah, there was no other quest, right? Okay. Performance has been a thing for a while now? Okay. 
I guess I just don't ever hear anyone doing it. Ooh. Wait. What is that for? A quest with a plus on it, but it's level 70? Huh. Because now when you read a random message as part of a long line, you won't get u uber confused. Yeah, I guess I'm just really curious uh, UI-wise. Like, does it pop up and then time out and then disappear? Oh. Oh, it's crafting. All right, that's why I didn't do it. Yeah, okay, never mind. All right, back to, back to main story quest, I guess. It's just in chat. Hmm. Attached to the message. Yeah, but the the message is old. Like the message scrolls up. So I guess I don't. I don't understand. I'd have to see it happening. So let's see, yes. The story, we're going back to the, the the wholesome cat girl that wants to be the world's best apothecary. I bet it won't work on an Xbox app. Yeah, I mean, did they even update client apps anymore? It seems like pretty much everyone does that the first time because like Xbox or whatever pays them for it or they, they do it for partnerships, like smooth over those relationships and then they just like, yeah, no one's using this, who cares? Or it works well enough. <clears throat> I'm interested in 14. My girlfriend has casually played MMOs in the past. Doesn't have a ton of experience. Aside from just playing, is there anything to watch or read that would help her get an idea if she's interested? Of how to play? Not really. It's pretty straightforward World of Warcraft stuff. If, she, if she's played MMOs at all, she's, she's probably already got the basics. Unlike Shiva Trail and Idleshire. Ooh, I do like the Shiva fight. I love the Shiva music. The old message is a mini one attached to the newer one, and it isn't the entire old message. So, that means it... it so, okay. Does that mean it repeats the old message again? Because then every reply is, like, double thick. If it has the old message attached to it again. It's more like, what moves where? And how, do, how does that become convenient? Instead of having multiple boxes of text moving at the same time. Uh, just thing I needed after a long day of work. Thanks for the chill awesomeness to decompress to. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Not the entirety of the old message. Yeah, but it's still another line. Uh, like I said, I just have to, I think I'll just have to see it in action. I, you said Ray had it? I'll pop in there and see how it works. Witcher 3 stream? Yeah, James. I had perhaps the most cursed time and recent memory in a video game yesterday playing Witcher 3. I had to redo an old save file, um, bounced around, like, tried a million different things, all of which didn't really go where I wanted it to or work out like I wanted. And I'm still trying to find Demeridium just to make my uh, endgame gear. So, um, it was like... Had to redo all the crafting I'd already done. All right. Uh, then, like, fumbled around a lot trying to get merchants to regenerate their stock, and it just wouldn't happen. Trying to, like, pass time, trying to go to different continents. Then I tried, uh, like, hitting up sunken treasures in Skellige to get Demeridium, and none of them had it. I got one ore. Um, after forgetting how to pilot the boat. Um, and, man... And then I uh, looked around for witch hunters to kill. Didn't find any, except the one that I found was like a super overleveled guard that killed me in one hit and took all my money. So <laughs> it was basically like, got a lot of pushback, uh, but 
And, it, and to make matters worse, it's entirely based on my nonsensical and entirely arbitrary dedication to doing all the endgame crafting before moving on to Hearts of Stone. I could just do that. I could just play the fun and good content. That's the problem when you play too many games, you forget how to play them. Oh, Battle Royd. Boy, am I... Boy, am I... Such a victim of that. Which ends up, like, you end up burning time relearning a game every time. I think it's fundamentally more inefficient to jump back and forth between a vast amount of games, but I keep doing it. Because I just... I don't know. I like being impulsive about what I play. Yeah, this is the nighttime theme. It's a little more restrained. It's got those, like, low... Low and ominous strings. I love it. Now this might have to be up. Oh. Or on the other side of the wall completely. Got it. The partner won't play a game for longer than an hour or two at a time. So indecisive. Ah. Uh, I, ca I catch myself doing that. It's so fun to, like, the newness of it is what's so fun. Newness followed by, like, 20 minutes of frustration as you try to you know, relearn or remember what you were doing. Yeah, Anthrax, I'm sure there's a perfect balance of, like... I'm sure I'm sure it's down to the person, too, but maybe, like, this game... Or this person, this gamer, can juggle four games at once and maintain, like, a good enough skill level in all of them. I do actually have to go pick grapes now. As a hero who has saved multiple dimensions multiple times, I gotta go pick grapes. How's it going, Alphano? Every time I pick an MMO back up, I always make a new character. Can't go back to my old character without feeling like a demi. I do that a lot with save files. Uh, if there's like a story-based game that I started and maybe played halfway through, and I come back to it, I start over. Um, which means I, you know, might as well just toss out the six to eight hours or whatever progress you got. I'm sure enough times of doing that, and there are like whole games you could have played through. And these are the uh, tribulations of today's gamer. Uh, but yeah, Tiger Gamer Syndrome, thank you for the sub. Ah, so teeny. Steph's killing it on COD. She's very good. Definitely get that 100% the same way, but not as somebody sunk hundreds of hours into The Witcher. DLC gives you awesome gear that I guess... Uh, like me, you'll abandon your gear for immediately in order to get a cool look that fits in your new story. So I'd say don't stress about it. You'll get what you need from Hearts to upgrade your base armor, which you'll upgrade again in Blood and Wine. So now it's actually a great time to jump into Hearts, pick up cool new gear from that. Yeah. You're absolutely right. It's a, it's 100%. Like, there's really no angle where it's not the right call. Um, so I need to... Yeah, I think next time I'll just do it. I will yield. I will yield to my own... Uh, actual logic. It is not a gamer... It is not losing gamer pride. It is merely being, being more efficient, which is in fact more gamer. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little... <clears throat> I'm a little choked up about being a gamer. Ah... Well, that's nice. I do not remember that name, but... Thaler? Are fates worth participating in? They're good for leveling. 
I remember them being pretty good for that. You get it. Like, the time for the experience is pretty worth it if you're around, or if it's just, like, right over there. It can be tough, though, if you're, like, if you're the only one doing them. Um, because then you basically run the timer on the whole thing, and then it's not so worth it, and also very boring. So, for me, it was always, like, if I... Sometimes you can see a train of NPCs, or, sorry, actual players. Sometimes a whole gang of players that just go and, and kick the shit out of a fate. And if you can run in there and, like, get a few casts in, then you get a pretty large payday of experience. Monish B. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Ansem, yeah. COD Warzone, all the players got too good. Uh, I always hate that cutoff. Where it's like you're kinda, you kind of keep pace and then maybe a week goes by that you can't play and then when you come back it just feels like... It feels like everybody zoomed right by. <clears throat> Cosmic Slop. Thanks for the sub. And Prime Glass, thank you for the resub. And some of this music listening to this for like seven years I guess they have quite a number of like dialogue tracks that they play but I feel like man I feel like it's just it's so <clears throat> it's so comfy and just do the alliance raid yet you mean the the near one is there a different one I actually don't know how much is in the patch yeah, Una? I did, yeah, I did the near raid. That was awesome. What? Oh, okay. It's been a while since I've gotten a... I guess, yeah, I accidentally hit the crafting menu. Yeah, that was really cool. I really, really liked it. It was a little trolly, though. Hmm. Someone in chat mentioned that they heard... I don't know how true it is, but um, so that Yoko Taro was a little more involved in the design of that. And I can, I can see that. Uh, that raid, <clears throat> that raid asks quite a bit of the observational, observational attention. How long did the Android Ball fight take? That one didn't take that long, actually. The first one took the longest, because I just, man, I just kept eating so much shit on that first one. That first one was the was the worst. I was also the rustiest, so you know, but. There's so many one-shots in that first fight. <laughs> Maybe just for me since I'm a healer, but like... Uh, our party was down for like 60% of that fight. Like, completely dead. Um, somehow we limped through. Also, oh yeah, our other healer released the first time he died. Or they died. So our our party only had one healer too, since they were just chilling out on the other side of a, of a force field. Oh, Yoshi P's off working on the project for PS5. It lets other people take larger control over other projects. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, the that raid had quite a lot of pushback. It shoved pretty hard. I felt I felt like I got hit a couple times. I liked it. I liked it. But it was it was angry. It was mean. It was violent. Oh boy, I gotta go kill some bats. Sick. I will say, I don't know if, like, I don't know if this is a positive or a negative, but I like it. Is that, uh, there are significant stretches of time in, in 14 where you're just kind of talking to people. Uh, you don't always... You're not always fighting things. Whereas, like, in an MMO, they would find reasons for you to go kill 10 boar, or... Like, oh, the bears are going crazy, go kill, kill some bears. <clears throat> I kind of appreciate that they don't go out of their way to make you fight stuff. Uh, Andrew, hey. Thank you for converting Prime Gaming from Prime Gaming into a sub. I didn't know they already rolled it out everywhere. That's awesome. Yeah, quests you can just complete by talking to people. There's pretty long stretches of just talking. And it doesn't always mean that that talking is unimportant. You go on, like, diplomatic missions and talk to people and 
pretty important story events unravel, but it's just all through text and movement. It's nice. You know, it's like it's like a show. A role model, yeah, political piece. Yeah, you even do you even do a fair amount of just like tagging along because your presence makes it seem important of like negotiating and di di diplomacy stuff. It's uh it's fun when you, like, tag... I always like beats in the story where you tag along for stuff like that, and you're just kind of standing there. Because this, this situation doesn't really call for somebody to cast, like, world-saving magic. You're just kind of there as a token of restorative efforts. Oh, rolled out the name change? Looking nice, looking clean, Andrew. <clears throat> you aware of the squall is dead theory no is that is that like some idea that squall is uh like final fantasy 8 is squall in the afterlife or something dragon age had a lot of those types of moments yeah yeah it did Dragon Age had a lot of talking, and I like that about it. Because the dialogue was like, it was good, it was purposeful, it was character driven. And yeah, there were entire sections of the game where you just talked. But your dialogue your dialogue meant a lot more in that game. It doesn't really in this game. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne's baby bat. Of course, Ozzy Osbourne would have a bat. Paul Wilson? Wait, Brian Wilson is the beach boy. debunked by the oh that squall died at the end of disc one yeah people love that theory right i feel like unreliable narrator theories are the stickiest ones because i mean it exists it exists in the meta framework of a story which means you can choose to believe it or not even if the creators are like no i don't know how that would change anything but i guess it's an interesting idea I played EVE Online. Yeah, for like one evening or something. Uh, not very much. I like the idea of EVE Online, but I think there are other, like, Play Forever games, persistent world games that I'd probably be more into. I think I'd be more uh, likely to get into, like, Elite Dangerous than uh, EVE Online. That's a cool looking spell. Ooh, so sparkly. Jwam. All right, well, now I get to kill bats. Oh, yeah. Shadowbringer's battle theme is pretty great. Piccadilly, yeah. People have brought up Ashes of Creation a couple times in recent streams. Yeah, I'm playing a healer class, but you. Oh, I didn't. I didn't summon my chocobo. Let me do that. There you are. Come, butt face. Help me slay these bats, butt face. Yeah, I'm playing white mage, but they they give white mage enough DPS tools to solo, which is really nice. And you're just playing star citizen. Well, what? Squadron 42 is supposed to be out this quarter. I mean. I have interest in playing Citizen 42, whatever it's called, the campaign, but, you know, gotta wait for it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's supposed to. I don't think they've announced that or like backed it up at all, which is concerning. But I don't know. Can't say anything about it until it's a, a video game. Oh, what's up, Lone Penguin? Yeah, I'd be optimistic for next year. I don't hope for anything. I, uh, for me, it's like Star Citizen. Yeah, Star Citizen is now like Half Life Three. If it releases, great. I'll check it out. But I don't really think it will. But that's fine. I got I got no stake. I have uh, I got, I got nothing riding on it. You recommend a book, a Bible. I'm not really sorts. I don't like. I play video games. Plus, like, there's a lot of books in the world. A lot of them. Played for the Persistent Universe, 42 is an adjacent thing. Oh, okay. Is it playable in Persistent Universe terms now? There's a little hand that just holds me. Because I'm so tiny. Just pull, pulls me around like a cat. Holding me by the scruff of the neck. Little mechano hand. Yeah. What about the book? I'm in the middle of reading some stuff. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this on stream. This cyberpunk novel, Hollow Men. Look at how cool that dude is. It's I've only read the first paragraph and it's outstandingly cheesy. Um. You have entered the year 2020. Helter Skelter, Hacker Slacker. Good uh, time to read. So yeah, I'll be doing that on stream this Friday. Does it have pictures? No. But with writing, with writing like this, you won't need them. It will, it will paint an incredible uh, scene for you. What does have pictures is, th is this, though. Um, I was actually told that I could I could fully plug this disclosure. Stephanie works for CDPR, but behold the artwork. There's a lot of cool stuff in here, um, and a lot of good a lot of good lore too. So there, uh, I don't. This might actually be sold out, but there's a book. There's a book for you. Um, and the lore is probably good to know before uh, 2077 comes out. It, the uh, there's some there's some beats in there that seem to imply where uh, Johnny Silverhand is coming from and like why he's digitized in 2077 and how that intersects with what V's doing. Oh yes, also the Batman Forever novelization. It's got all the bits from the movie. They got cut apparently. No Joel Schumacher cut. Just done 16 hours straight of 14, so I'll have to leave it. No, no worries. I understand. You gotta get away from it sometimes. Get some variety. Yeah, people are people are hitting this content real hard, huh? Oh. I love his disappointed face. Oh. Ooh, Dragon Knight, thanks for the sub. I thought Bob got that back. No, I did try. You are good at killing bats. Oh, you, Misa, you've been playing since patch release. Oh man. Yeah. So you were up at like what? 3 a.m. 2 a.m. Talking shit to that little gremlin is hilarious. Oh. Yes, you do. Be, be like me, kids. Not like Alizé. I'm better. Look at me. Look at me back here. My wand is taller than me. You're in South Africa, so midday till now, 3 a.m. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah, I wonder why they choose middle of the night North America to do it. Maybe it's because, like... That way, every other player base comes online and they have time to put out all the fires before idiot Americans start stomping around. 
Like Alizé's fashion choice of thigh high boots. You don't see too many guys donning those. Well, Alizé's not a guy. That's Alphino. But Alphino's wearing some uh, some pretty intense stuff too. Oh, also because it's a Japanese game. Good point. That might be in, like midday Japan. Yeah, I'm out. that's totally fine. That's uh, both the uh, their brother and sister. They look very identical, and they both look, you know, let's say they end, they're towards the fey end of the spectrum. Yeah, they're pretty much copy paste of each other. Uh, like one has a bow, and that's how you know it's kind of what it is. Uh, they have subtly different personalities, but they're both extremely practical and straightforward characters. It's kind of they're they're cool. One is red, one is blue. Yeah, pretty much. Their hair is a little bit different. The the magical twins is a very Final Fantasy thing. Or was. Hasn't been done much, really. Uh, lately. Alphino is my son. Love you, sweet Alphino. Sweet boy. Sweet, occasionally stupid boy. <laughs> uh, what's a good class solo? They're all fairly good. 14, 14 basically covers all its bases. Because every class has some kind of good DPS ability. And then also they give you a little chocobo pal. That you can assign to be a healer, tank, or DPS. So whatever you are, you can also have a little AI companion that covers that like covers the role that you can't do. Um, so as a healer, I have a DPS. Um, I mean, it's probably set to DPS no matter what. Is there a class with a gun? Yes. There is indeed. Gunbreaker. They added it in Shadowbringers. Oh, machinists? Oh, and machinists. Yeah, okay. There's two guns. really is the game for everyone. What's your sleep schedule? I go to bed around like 1 or 2 a.m. Get up around 9 or 10. Yeah. I'm very blessed. I have, I have like basically ultimate freedom right now. Usually that means I would stay up super late all the time. But, you know, I'm a little more connected now. I have like meetings with people that are awake at normal time. So I've tried to largely stay up when the sun's out. Uh... Was COD Cam the result of people asking why Steph is yelling or is it just a good idea you had? Um, an intersection of, of both, I think. Uh, people would ask well, what Steph was yelling at. But uh, I really like watching Steph play COD. I love it. Steph's one of my favorite streamers. And she usually just streams for me. Um, but yeah, I figured... Uh, there are a couple of things, like I have like some tech ideas sometimes. I'm like, I could just do that. Um, and really it's because, like, people sub and stuff that I have the discretionary money to just, like... I just, like, had to buy the capture hardware and set it up. Uh, so I enjoy being impulsive, uh, with, with tech stuff and experimenting and seeing what, uh... What I can add to the flavor and the richness of the Twitch.tv experience. I can pull in audio, too, but... I've done a couple of experiments with, like, mixing multiple video game sources and it can get pretty noisy. I wonder if something like I've I feel like something like this would work best with MediaTek or like I can, I feel like I can plug MediaTek into this somehow. I thought about um, while I was streaming just having a MediaTek window um, rolling all the time. So it's like I would have to I would definitely have to shrink gameplay down. So it would here actually let me let me do this real quick. There. So it'd be something like uh, this. This won't permanently mess up anything. They'd have to, you know, like most streamers. Ha -ha. Can I grab this? You gonna let me do it? Oh boy! Hold on a minute. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what I. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So it'd be something like this with like v gameplay here, and then like, uh, like media tech, like over here or something like that. I don't know. That that gets to be a little much, you know. Um, I don't know to what degree if you go to somebody's somebody's stream and it's just just a million blinking spinning like uh 
MySpace-esque uh, stuff. But... Oh, hell yeah. I forgot. Also, he has to stand on the seat to drive the car. I forgot I got the 15 regalia. It was worth it. Are you good at math? I, would, I used to be. I don't do math much anymore. You know, there's not a much of reason to, but... Um... I, I had an aptitude for math when I was in school. You've got to be pretty handy at math to, to get a computer science degree. I've seen way busier streams, yeah. I mean, they exist. I feel like it's... You need an element of nuance to, uh... To, to have that much media all over the place. You've got the intro videos now, just like the music you'd force to listen to. Yeah. No, you're right. I, I do need, like, a, a looping MIDI of, of, like, Green Day or My Chemical Romance or something. My best, uh, my best ringtones embedded in the vid <laughs> embedded in my Twitch stream. Is that Pickle Rick? Yep. Hey Rick, I turned myself into a cactus. Okay. Gotta love, <laughs> gotta love Patch Day where everybody's staring at the ground. I love it. Oh. Dang it. There we go, I got it. Twenty four hour surveillance of your apartment? Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I I like I think I think my uptime is already enough. Ah! Oh, he's back! <laughs> you Why am I... Was it you who called me here? <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, that's right. There's an Asian that took over... Wait, I don't understand, because Ardbert wasn't corporeal. He didn't have a body. So why does this Asian look like Ardbert now? I don't remember that. He did on the first. I thought nobody else could see him. Oh, well, Lidibus took his corpse. Is there a reason why he's not, like, decomposing? Do bodies just never go away? This is real body. Okay. But nobody remembers what he looks like, kind of thing. Hmm. Aether. That's right. It's magic. I just don't know where it becomes magic. Lobotomized, I appreciate the uh, the endurance. So you peered into my memories. All right. No matter. You will have found little of import. I'll say, like, the stuff that they pull with, like, separating people from their bodies is, is the most Kingdom Hearts it gets. And I'm, I'm usually not a... Even in this case, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Because it feels like... It, it feels like a story trope that exists purely to, like... Get drama drama twists out of not making new character models. Um, that's really what it feels like. Is is you can you can write unlimited plot beats if you can start that swapping around people's soon. existences. Oh, my alerts got smushed. That's why they're all over the place. Oh, okay, that's what moved. Oops, how embarrassing. But I um, see you intended to summon me here no more than I intended to come. The fault is mine. Not Kojima, thanks for uh, gifting a sub, and Muffin Man, thanks for the cheer. I'm gonna play the new Doom Eternal DLC, of course. Yes, absolutely. Such is the burden of hope. I had a new PB yesterday, baby. Level five. 
feel pretty good about that. If I, I feel pretty confident that if I can get reliably get through the beginning hump of the game, if I can make it so that I can get to Doom Hunter base, I feel like I'll be good until like level eight nine. Arc base is gonna be bad. Uh, and then like it's just Erdak and uh, Icon of Sin that are really concerning. I feel like I might need to start pacing out um, like Crucible tokens near the end of the game, but you'll get past Doom Hunter base. I did lobotomized. I did yesterday. Yeah. Why must you? Why must you broil the people in your plans? Okay, new 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 voice for Clatteroth. Now he's just <sighs> pretty stupid. I merely avail myself of such tools as I require for the conflict to come. Oh yeah, then a random imp. Yeah, the game the game ended because I don't know it was a weird circumstance. Basically, I am pretty sure an empowered cacodemon spawned directly on my back and then chomped me. Uh, so. I mean, he already was, yeah. He sounds stupider, though. Is that a beard on Clatteroth? It is a stately soul patch. That which I do is no different from that which you have done so many times, warrior of darkness. I arm myself. I hone my skills. I make ready to vanquish my enemy. You. It sounds like he is right on mic. I wonder if they recorded all this VO from their homes. That might explain the different texture of the recording. You who have murdered my brothers, who have taken their selfless labors in service to the one true world and turned them to ash. Um, should we go into the Asians? So there's a, hmm. You who have stolen my pop filter. Yeah. Yelling at this tiny man, like swearing on a, on all reality that you will unmake them as a person. You stupid little anime nugget, you goddamn soul patch wearing motherfucker. <laughs> so good. Oh, I love it. Um, okay. Uh, huh, the Emmett Selk, yeah, I was about to get into that. So um, the way that the, the plot's been architected now is that the, the villains are attempting a reunification of reality. They had a world, and then some shit went down, and uh, Shadowbringers actually went super into the lore about that, which was really cool. And that reality got shattered into various shards of reality. Um, so now they're going around basically trying to detonate all of those shards to force them all back into one singularity again, to kind of recreate the world that they knew. Um, this is some five head shit. Yeah, it's, it, gets, it gets pretty anime. I'm amazed that like, so I typically have no tolerance for this kind of stuff. But this game has, this is like, you know, a decade of lore paced out in some pretty amazing beats. But yeah, uh, my understanding is corpses decompose when e e ether is drained from the body. So if a lot of ether, warrior of light, it takes a lot longer. I could be wrong. I think you're right, Crispy. I do remember something like that. Um, so yeah, that's, they do have it architected pretty well in that it's like, even though they read as evil a lot of the times, they're really just trying to protect themselves and, and revive their culture. So it's one of those, like, it's kind of zero-sum. Uh, for you to maintain your world and reality and friendship and life, it's at the cost of the things they're trying to do. Uh, but they have a very believable motivation, and to them, a very just motivation for doing what they do. Very nice. Uh, Olympus convinces Ardbert to travel to the source like the Scions have moved to the first, only his spirit moved. His body is encapsulated here in Crystal and Yulmore. Minfilia of the Source helps Ardbert and his group return to the First, but couldn't return their souls to their bodies, so they remained encased in Crystal. That is why the body is in pristine shape. Aha. Okay. I didn't know Ardbert bounced back and forth. When was Ardbert in the in the Source? Hmm. Uh. Balyaner, thank you for the Prime. Uh, can dialect choice affect the story? No. Oh, was it Heavensward? Ardbird showed up in he Heavensward, huh? I don't remember a lot of Heavensward, I'll be I'll be honest. I was kind of checked out for a lot of... Oh, he was the Warrior of Darkness. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I don't... I remember dragons. I remember... Boy, it's so tragic we're killing these dragons. I remember Stinian being a very edgy motherfucker. I remember dragons. Dragon Eye. That's about it. 
It's in a lot of anime BS, Jort. That is. That is very much. I see you for what you are. You are death. And only in death shall you serve any purpose. Oh, Arianne J. Big being a traitor? Oh, I actually don't remember that. Samsonite, thank you for the subs. The convocation charged me to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. As a Lydibus, it is my duty, and I shall see it done. I will strike you down. Destroy you, body and soul. All else must wait. Your warrior of darkness? That whole thing was your warrior of Ere light. long I will come for you, warrior of darkness. And I will save the world. You're a warrior of darkness here. You're a warrior of light in another reality. Ah. Anime. One last matter. I bore witness to your final struggle with Emmet Selk. It seemed as if he saw something familiar in you. Um, Barol, thank you for the prime. As if he mistook you for another. Yeah, light was destroying this world, so... The world rules are that each world has like a, a balance of magical energies that are tuned to various elements. Uh, in this world, light was way too powerful because these assholes are trying to like cause calamities in every reality. Calamities happen when one real when one version of, of magic gets too powerful, and then it summons a primal, and then like, and then basically you have a a, a kaiju that's empowered with a lot of magic, destroying and, and like breaking the bonds of reality and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so there was too much light here, because these guys were fucking with the magic flow. Um, and uh, because of that, you need a warrior of darkness to counter it. More light would be bad. Like, the, the actual the reality was dying because of light. The sun had never set, and, like, everything was a desert because it was just light baking everything. <sighs> Boy, is that some anime right there. Hithlodeus called me his new old friend. It's a different voice. How do you say Hithlodeus and sound like an idiot? I don't know. Should have tried it. I'll try it next time. Oh, I recall not of whom he spoke. Mayhap I never knew you. Or mayhap it is another fragment lost. Ah, I wasn't aware you already had a guest. If the conversation is constructive, I shall not intrude. But if you seek to stir up trouble, Elidibus, then I must insist you leave at once. <laughs> CTZ. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the prime sub. Quintuple months. <gasps> well, that was unnecessary. Though you lack her blessing, your soul is surprisingly dense. Hmm. <laughs> your soul is thick. Worry not. I seem to be unharmed. I thought WoW got convoluted when it added multi-realities and time travel. Yeah, I guess... I guess any narrative that that goes on for more than a couple of years is going to have those things at some point. All? Oh, uh, this. This is my own doing. The consequence of my recent exertions. It is the tower's way of compensating me for the demands I have placed on it. Rest assured, it is no great inconvenience at present. Indeed, I told Beck Lug as much. But they would not be persuaded and sent me away to rest. No need to make a fuss. Strange as it may sound, I consider it something of a badge of honor. 14 multi multi dimension stuff really isn't that complicated, though. Yeah, I don't know. I try. I, 
they explain it well enough in the game, but I do try to I do try to keep my mind around how it sounds to somebody who hasn't followed it. And it's yeah, I mean there's time travel, there's people getting separated from their bodies, bouncing back and forth between dimensions, showing up at different times. I get it. It you know by that alone that kind of qualifies it into anime wackiness, I think. No regardless of how One well it's explained. Brave souls who saw me delivered unto the first. But like once said in you know, endgame I was able to move audiences through time travel pretty effectively, and sometimes that can be a, a challenging thing to have click in and make sense for people. That the world shall ever have a place. Uh, story's well told. Heroism, you can follow them. So long as we have need of inspiration in our lives. Though he and his fellows had no way of knowing whether their mad scheme would amount to anything, they knew that the attempt alone would inspire hope, or so they hoped. <laughs> A more optimistic lot one would be hard-pressed to find. They said they would find a means to save our God's forsaken world. Just as soon as they had sent me on my way. Said it with such confidence that, for a fleeting moment, I half believed them. Such faith. Such courage in the face of unrelenting despair. For a long time, it was more than I could bear to remember them. Um, how far are you? Uh, I mean, in the in the main quest, maybe an hour or two, but not much. Having sent full many on their way myself, I see things more clearly. Samsonite, did you just tip me one hundred dollars, dude? Uh, yo, you were one of my favorite personalities on Funhouse. Just happened upon your stream today. I don't Twitch much. But here, have some monies because I dig your sense of humor. Thank you. Christ, dude. That's a lot. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, I will continue tabbing through this anime video game. Extra hard now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Samsonite, you're the realist, man. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the cash money. Um, I appreciate that. To take action is to hope. You were... To believe, to choose to believe. Yes. Is to take the first step towards a brighter future. You're investing in the Lawrence Empire. Yeah. Steph's playing COD. Um. And why do I tell you this? Because I want you to indulge me in a little recklessness. Needless to say, I have a plan. Samsonite is the bro and of the day. When all is said and done, I will ask yet another favor of you. Yeah, more money to the Lawrence Tower. Why is he Catman? Hmm. The character was actually established a long time ago. Uh, but I don't know that there's there's necessarily like deep lore implications for him being a Catman. Oh man, stuff is stuff is cackling. <laughs> You're both here. Oh, thank goodness. What's wrong? It's Thancred. He's collapsed. Oh, no. Not Thancred. The edgiest anime boy. I was still shocked. I thought he... Apparently he was wearing an eye patch the whole time just because he wanted to be edgy. <clears throat> Is there a void? Like a race of void creatures trying to take over... Sort of Lord Hoare? Yeah? There, there, yeah, there is like a, uh, a group of sort of like interdimensional, uh, kind of, the way they're propped up is kind of like higher tier of, of existence sort of beings. Yeah. And they're the ones sort of like shadow puppeting a lot of stuff. There's like each, oh my god, each reality, <clears throat> excuse me, each reality has its own sort of direct political conflict happening in it. Like in the main reality of the game. There's an evil empire that's trying to take over 
uh, other countries. And a lot of what you do is just defending that, like fighting a war or inciting rebellion uh, and fighting wars for independence and stuff like that. So that all happens like in the like in the context of that world and that reality. And also, there are big shadowy multi-dimensional Illuminati figures that are manipulating world events to just destabilize worlds in general. Yeah, Umbra, this this is technically one of one of many alternate dimensions. But why? Ah, I kinda just went over that. Um The why for the for the intergalactic guys or inter interdimensional du dudes um is that there used to just be one reality. Um and there's a whole origin story that's actually pretty cool about what happened with that. They basically invented their own gods and then the gods fought. Or rather, they invented a god and then they got scared of that god. So they invented another god to, to keep that god in check. And then they fought. Um, basically, like... Might as well go, in and go into it. Like, they made a god. Uh, I don't know all the details about that. Then they got scared of the god they made. So they made another god that had the power to divide. And they were like, well... Like, nothing can, nothing can actually kill this god, but what we can do is, like, divide its power until we can beat it. Um, so they made it, like, a, a god of division, or whatever. And then they fought, and it turns out the god of division went bananas too. Or, I don't, I'm not sure what the exact mo movements of that are, but it divided reality. Shattered reality into many shards. Um, each of those realities now has its own thing going on. Um, but... The original race of the people who invented the god and the god to kill the god are now like, fuck, we destroyed our reality. So what they're trying to do is go around and cause each other reality to blow up, basically. If you mess with the magic flow of a particular shard of reality, it like overloads and gets destroyed. And I guess their idea is if they destroy all the shards, it'll reunify into the world that they used to have. Um, that's kind of the, the massive origin story that they finally laid out. And here's... No, they actually didn't write themselves into a corner, Andrew, believe it or not. Um, all this stuff has been referenced all the way back to 1.0, but the origin story like that was only laid out in Shadowbringers. And it's actually consistent all the way back. That's the wild thing. Um, the the god, the, the gods that have been referenced have been... Like, you've, you've felt their effects, and they've been referenced in, like, story and stuff. And it's pretty consistent. That's the crazy thing. Um... So, that's that's kind of the masterstroke of this game, is that uh, there is a lot going on, and it's shockingly complicated, but also pretty easy to understand once it's laid out. And it's been, they've been like dropping hints the whole way leading up, to whatever degree that you would even see or understand these things. And then yeah, at the end of Shadowbringers, they finally just lay out the whole origin story of the universe, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Do I need to know any of this to play the remaster 7? No. <laughs> That's an entirely different thing. Uh, 14 has its own canon. Um, like every every main sort of numbered Final Fantasy game. Yeah, there haven't been too many like wild swerves in the story. I think at most what has happened is, and you, you can feel this in any ongoing anime, really, is that sometimes they'll introduce a character that seems like they're teeing up for a much longer protracted story. And then they either withdraw them or write them out or, or sort of kind of shove them into the background and be like, no, it's about this guy now. Um, they've, they've done a few swerves like that. And, you know, that's about as jarring as it gets when it comes to uh, a wizard did it kind of stuff with this game. You never played any Final Fantasy? Yeah, TR, well, that, that makes it... It's weird because they're all so different. They're all different games. They just happen to have the same name. And they have certain thematic things that tie them together. The closest I could compare it, which is not the best comparison given that there are meta ties, but it's almost like Assassin's Creed is shaping up. How each one is kind of a different... a different attempt with some similar themes, but... They're so different uh, to compare some of them. So imagine like Assassin's Creed, except there is no real uh, constant story unifying all the games. Oh, Persona? Personas are more alike 
than Final Fantasies are. Uh, like, Persona 3 and Persona 5, you know, there's some mechanical differences there. Um, like controlling your party and stuff like that, but... Oh, not quite. What happened is that the star effectively was a living being and it disrupted their creation magic. This caused mayhem and panic. Magic was going haywire, uh, is what could bring about the end times they thought. They thought that with summoning Zodiac, they could rewrite the laws of reality back to what they were before. They sacrificed half of all Asians to feed Zodiac's power and, and it's a success. Although the star has already have a large, although the star has already had a large areas destroyed and completely and forever. Um, oh, that's right. They're trying to recover half of their like life force from Zodiac or something like that. Tone is three is much different than four and five. Within the context of Persona, yes, but three, four, and five are much more similar than any of the Final Fantasies are to each other, unless you're counting the really old ones. Um, like, 13 is is not really that close to 12 in terms of the kind of game it is and the way you play it and the story and the setting and the lore and all that stuff. Those are pretty... much more separate than any of the Persona games are from each other. And 15, like... that That's kind of what I meant. 7 Remake is its own thing. That's what makes, like... People who haven't played one, it's such a... It's like, it's not even really its own consistent thing. Um, oh, then they proceed to sacrifice even more people to try and fix their broken world. This works, and now a large remi remainder hate them, and they create Heidelin. Heidelin and Zodiac then fight, and this shatters reality, and the star splits into 13 worlds. Got it. Okay. All right, I, I did have a misunderstanding of the... Of the uh, I didn't know that there were two factions of Asians. Ten and seven have a lot of collection connections lore wise. People keep saying that, but they don't. I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't I don't think that's a thing. Oh, they have one connection and it's a name. Uh Ooh, Battlefield? Hmm. I thought Battlefield 3 and 4 had really good campaigns. People would say 7 and 15 are the same world? Why? That's weird. There's a theory that 10 is a distant past of 7's world? It's just a theory? Ah, oh, okay. Battlefield 1 actually has a really good a really good campaign too. Or sorry, 5. My bad. Sober Librarian. Thanks for another sub bomb there. What does any of this mean? Uh they're sorting out what they're going to do next. Yeah, Malachi, I can definitely see why somebody wouldn't like the campaign of 3. It was kind of like an, a weird knockoff Call of Duty campaign. They tried to really amp up the, the kind of Abrams-ness of it. I thought it was fun. It was like a... You know, it felt kind of like a Tom Clancy action film from the late 2000s. I like I like big dumb campaigns, though. I'm, I'm a big fan. So... Five campaign is good, but from a historical perspective, it's bad. Oh, like it's not remotely accurate. The Convocation, the Pro Zodiac group, had three surviving members, Emmett, Elidibus, and La Brea. Those three have tried to sacrifice the remaining planets in Zodiac to an attempt to rejoin all the worlds to the original star. Okay. So the other group of Asians is, is not the Convocation. What's the other group of Asians up to then? What are they trying to do? Yeah, Coinmeister. I, I, it's a garbage font. I really, I really need to change branding away from that font. It's called Hacker, though. How am I supposed to not use a font called Hacker for everything I possibly can? I have to go to the Rising Stones. What's your problem? It's sending me the Rising Stone. Make me pay a thousand gil. 
How am I supposed to buy my way through the, the level grind this way? They are lesser jobber Asians. They work for the big ones. Oh, okay. So they're just uh, Asian minions. Ham and egger Asians. There might be Asians who are simply milling about, enjoying life as it is. That's a good point. Oh, Hardline. Yeah, Hardline was a fun campaign. Uh, rip Visceral, man. Are we down to one Asian? No, there's still sev several. There's an untold number of potential Asians, I thought. Oh, I just saw a sexy teacher. All this music, man. Gotta go talk to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. A pretty solid phone I use for coding called Hack. Isn't as isn't as console as this. It's designed to be easy to read code blocks, but I love it for my terminal and IDE work. Yeah, it, we, that's that's the idea, right? I did want a terminal-looking font, hence the black and green. Um, but this one, it's like so fat and uh, hard to read. <laughs> Um, the one that's up here is like is a WebKit font. This guy right here. Um, it's the most it's the most console-y looking one that uh, I guess Google Fonts had loaded and ready to go. Um, it's weird because uh, it said that I should be able to use any font installed on my machine, but that doesn't. Or rather, some fonts installed on my machine will show up in the like overlay editor, but some won't, and I just can't tell what the difference is. Oh, Tatar's doing a pee pee dance. Font format, maybe? Maybe. True type versus open type? I remember doing both, and like, it still seemed really arbitrary which ones would read and which ones wouldn't. <clears throat> I remember what was really confusing is that, um, uh, some of the fonts I got out of like Adobe Typekit would show up, and some wouldn't. You'd think they would all be the same thing, or if they have like a WebKit or something like that, but papyrus and only papyrus. That's the real answer. The the unstoppable one-two punch of Papyrus and Comic Sans. Yeah, Papyrus font for my fifth grade book report on Egypt. Look at that hero walk. Look at that swagger. The raw power. They can't even they can barely even reach the door handle. <laughs> and if they did, there'd be a full extension. Like they couldn't move their legs to it's open Jesus. it. How did you do that tiny thing? Yeah, real Chad stride. Big ball walking. <laughs> this is great, you guys. Oh my this gosh. way. This is what we do it for right here. This is this is where the real gaming starts. Big story beats. Oh. oh no. So these are some of the characters we just saw. These are their bodies. Um, I guess she's giving them aether transfusions. Their souls are trapped in another dimension due to an accidental whoopsie. <sighs> the cat boy. Uh, kind of saw that his his dimension was about to explode, so he. I'm I'm massively paraphrasing. I would rather you hadn't seen this. Basically, like tried to hail Mary, summon some other heroes to his realm, so he could be like, "Please save us." What's wild is that happened in the middle of a pretty big like plot beat happening here, like the they were just getting around to like the ancient empire using chemical warfare on people to win a war or to to basically to um to silence rebellions and that's a pretty gross pro plot point and then right in the middle of that shit happening your character just kind of passes out and then you wake up in a new reality uh yeah not ancient empire sorry but modern modern evil empire it's it's the final fantasy empire i'm sorry we have urgent tidings they kind of seem to have dropped man boy everyone loves correcting that christ twice in a row no no i'm not angry with you on the contrary 
I know full well how hard everyone has been searching for a way to return home. Uh. And I had hoped to afford you the time you needed. We're diving across the room, reaching their keyboards. But given our friend's present state. Ah, uh, you're right. Perhaps it was for the best that there you are came. multiple empires. <laughs> That's okay. It's important to be accurate when it comes to lore. Can't be getting this stuff wrong. Stiff and cold, all of them. As if they were made of wax. I always expect squeakier voices all in the Lollafell. How dare you? Barely alive at all. They are cultured. They are intelligent. They are doctors, all of them. And they're they're moody and edgy, like me. And they had been doing so well. Save for occasional signs of etheric instability. They appeared to be in passable health. Then, quite without warning, things took a turn for the worse. A change for which even Master Matoya could offer no explanation. She could only remind me that the soul is yet an unknown frontier, and that much and more lies beyond our ken. Well, you said it. It's hard right. just yet. At times like these, it is all the more important that we remain positive. Are you gonna play 14 yourself? Nice. That is the best reason to not watch somebody play 14. Why? I bought this. I always hated having to click. In well, Coinzel. Are you sitting down? Because this game has text auto advance. The only problem is if you put, even if you put it on the lowest, uh, like delay, in VO there's always a pretty sizable pause between lines. Um, it's not really blended all that well. So. If you want really naturally sounding dialogue, you do kind of have to smash the button. But if you're just reading text, you can just put it on an auto advance, tune it to your While reading the speed. Others have weakened; they have remained relatively stable. I believe I may leave my post for a moment. So come, let me hear your tale outside. Okay. I have a lot to say. Been on a lot of adventures. I love that they have to waddle. Giant arms just sloshing back and forth. Or tiny arms. What music? Uh, let's see here. I was just listening. Glass Animals put out another album. So I was checking that out. Uh, Washed Out put out a new album. Just kind of chill vibes. That's nice. Uh, Mike Shinoda's been dropping a lot of like... He does a lot of mixes on Twitch and then he just drops an album. So Drop Frames, Volume 1 and 2 were really good. Uh, I'm in kind of an industrial mood. I was listening to KMFDM the other day. <clears throat> yeah, I saw Amine had a new a new album. I haven't listened to it yet, though. I usually don't pay attention if it's not VO anyway, so I'd have to put the auto text advance on. Yeah, you can do that. You can also just wholesale skip a lot of those cutscenes. If you just want to mash through the dialogue. <clears throat> food, snacks to people. Wish they did more voiceover cutscenes? Yeah. They can't do them all. Well, I guess they could, but... <clears throat> There's been more and more as the game goes on. Like, recall, this is just a patch. Prepare yourself for massive food lord. I like, I like the sound of that. That's a whale. That's Bismarck. I remember that summon. Buff McTuff. It's a good name. Bro tanks. Bro tanks. It's a good place to show off a mount. A lot of people coming out of there these days. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, you're disappointed I'm not a cat or a bunny. Bunny lady with massive tits. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm mixing it up a little bit. You can't really make just hyper buxom anime girls in this. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh. Got weird phlegm issues in my face today. I wonder what's going on. Alright, there is a... Uh... There you go. Powerful whisking over here. Is that a tiny dog on the table? That is not hygienic. All right. They have busty babe mods for this game. Oh, they do have mods, Captain? I've never once looked into it. I imagine usually they don't want your client to, to, to differ at all. <clears throat> Aha. Bread. What a feast. Your cake looks like bread. Old world an Archon Loaf? Hold on a minute. Huh. Modding is a difficult process. Someone posted a new emote on the 14th subreddit today and a flame war started over the big anime titty mod they were using. <laughs> yeah, isn't like... Uh, Yoshi P basically said he'd, he'd prefer that people not use mods, right? Oops, absolutely not. Oh, they do have a bus slider? Okay. It doesn't go too crazy, yeah. This isn't... This ain't no Black Desert Online. <clears throat> Couple more loaves. He's a big boy. Rambros. <clears throat> hey, try not to get eaten by a monster. Hey, anything. Slenders, thanks okay. for the cheer. <clears throat> God, I need more water. I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. So we have 16. Water acquired. Yeah, Johnny Dots. I'm still just tiptoeing through the story. I did the near raid, which I very much enjoyed, even though it it was a little uh it was a little rocky. It was mean. That's what I'll say. But I liked it. It was very fun. That music at the end. Mm. Oh wait, where is the um Shiva trial? Idleshire? Okay. Gotta wait until tomorrow for some FC buddies. Idleshire will unlock Unreal. Oh, is that what it's called now? Is that the new ultra-difficult version? Uh, okay, so here's the deal. I think... I think Jacob and Omar are gonna be on to play Destiny at around 8 o'clock, which is an hour from now. Um, before that, I also need to cook dinner for Steph um, and me but my turn to cook tonight so somewhere between somewhere in the next hour I got to take about 30 minutes to go cook dinner um, and then I'll be back with with destiny we gone to the locks I don't think so <laughs> dense and unpleasant Delicious. It's 
for dinner. He's still doing Blue Apron, believe it or not. It's like some rice uh, chorizo thing. <laughs> In order to maximize its nutritional value, he incorporated copious quantities of pulverized fish and vegetable matter into the dough, all with nearly a care for those qualities which make bread enjoyable. The result is a flavor that continues to defy description. Some real lore here. For its many shortcomings, the loaf's nutritional value cannot be denied. And being a damnably convenient way to cater to one's bodily needs, it quickly found an audience amongst busy scholars. Why, when I was a lad, night every meal was a sandwich made with this very bread and... Oops. Keep hitting that button instead of zero. And greetings happen to be on hand. <laughs> DJ D's nuts. Hold on. D's nuts F the dick? That's as close as I can get. Thanks for the prime sub, though. <clears throat> Caribbean vibes. <sighs> yeah, lobotomized, I hear you. Uh, yeah, the... Oh, the, e the EPA relaxing requirements and all that shit again? Yeah. That's garbage. It's real bad. It feels real bad, man. But yeah, I, I hear you. Sometimes you just need to get away. Just need to... Need your mind to relax for a little bit. Bye. Oh, there it is. Okay. DJ D's Nuts featuring Huge Dick. Thank you. Thank you for walking me through that one. Huge Dick. Okay. I think this one is like the Disciple of the Land or Hand one. Yeah. Okay, well, at least this I can save some, save some time on. Or save some money by returning. It's a good scratch. We're both on Primal? Nice! Johnny Dots. I have a cross-world link shell that I've been trying... Well, I say trying. Sorry, the chair was rolling over a lump. Um, I say trying. I've only used it a couple times, but I would like to be more active on 14. And it would be cool to have a group to play with. I should have gone to Idleshire while I was back in the... Well, whatever. We just get to watch Stefan Noobs while you cook dinner? Well, I mean, I was gonna put up Media Tech, but I can leave that. I can leave that on top. I can leave a little postage stamp there. As long as people in chat are gonna be fine with people wondering in and asking what that is over and over again. Stephanie have a Twitch. She does not. No. I think she registered one, but hasn't used it. Let's see story objectives. Mounds and mounds of people. Oh, that's right. Can't take my gnome seriously? How dare you? How... How dare you? How dare you? He is a hero. <laughs> and... You should respect him. A lot. Yeah, he's got a soul patch. How can you not respect somebody with a soul patch? Huh, <laughs> his words are nearly as heavy as this bread. <laughs> it's a 20 pound loaf of bread. It's just a brick, a nutrient brick. Sixon, thank you for gifting us up. Appreciate that. Oh, you're on Aether? Yeah. The data center thing is a real bummer. <laughs> Though it has been many years, I have not forgotten the feats of mastication required to consume it, nor how unconducive they are to con conversation. 
very, uh, very artful ways of describing hor horrific bread. Well, like hardtack from the Civil War, yeah, just hard bread and crackers, or just, just like a brick. I don't understand how people with garbage teeth could eat some of that stuff. I guess you had time. Forgive the delay. Pop it in your mouth and let it soften. We have visited every region and confirmed the presence of Asians throughout the realm. Yeah, you do or starve, pretty much. Lest a grave predicament be made to seem hopeless, it should be noted that they are of inferior rank. The black masked minions who answer to the red. Are you sponsored by anything else? I don't really like G Fuel. Um, not at the moment, no. Some things come and go, but that's all that, that's all that's on the old that's all that's on the docket right now. And yeah, random Frank. I've had these for a while. The 58Xs. I like them a lot. Yes. A gaggle of schemers attempting to exploit recent events to sow the seeds of petty conflict. How much sugar does G Fuel have? Uh, they have sugar-free versions. That's basically all I drink, is the sugar-free ones. Fortunately, nothing of any great concern has come of their meddling just yet. So yeah, they have sugar-free, zero calorie. Uh, various fruit flavors and we other things. Encountered a number of the like moon pie. Defenders, busily solving this problem and that in a bid to become warriors of light. It feels to me like the fruit flavors are a lot better. It's sort of covering that like wig, that like kind of like uh, artificial sweetener twang. Do you feel makes you wiggly? So yeah, it's a lot of caffeine. Um, I, I only do like a half or a third of a scoop, you know, that, that keeps me plenty My juiced and is it's like less coffee, or sorry, busy, less caffeine than coffee, course. really, if I, if I measure it right. I think every scoop is like 80, which is about a, not I think a about a Red Bull? It, no. Both the troubles to be solved and the villains to be vanquished are his doing too, like as not. And so... With apologies to the aspiring warriors of light, I believe it best that we deal with the Asians quickly and quietly. Like your plant, a rubber tree? No, it's like, it's some kind of fern. It's like a, basically a dinosaur plant. <laughs> second. Getting into sun setting, I can back off the light a little bit, bring up that back, yeah. Oh, lemon lime? I haven't tried that yet. I quite agree. Is there symbolism of racism in Final Fantasy? I mean, yeah, there's like prejudice against fantasy stuff sometimes. Um, they don't what really try to, to... What news from the source? Really... How fair our bodies? Final, Final Fantasy doesn't necessarily really try to hit allegories for real life. They're usually pretty lodged in, in fantasy and, and like anime storytelling where the, the morals are about friendship and stuff like that oops I'm sorry but things are taking a turn for the worse I really should say it when his mouth is moving sometimes it doesn't give you the right amount of lip flap oh, though dear. then we must redouble our efforts not that we've ever stinted in that regard racism is big in 11 really I don't think I played it enough to really know what 11 was about I just got my ass kicked over and over and over again. This would seem an appropriate moment to ask about the spirit vessel. Eleven was totally racist against me. <laughs> it beat me up a lot. We have, as it happens, one moment. You're normal like Smash Mouth's hype man. Nice. Everything everyone says about my character makes me love him more, and I love that. The hell is that thing? That's, uh, I forget what they're called. The Red Stones. Then this doth mean... Aw, oh, shit, guys. The Red Stones... I don't know what that means. <laughs> all right. We'll roll with it. For the benefit of all, permit us to explain. Mord Souk or something like that? Or is that the name of one of them? I don't remember. Look at my tiny boy. He fits right in. Tiny little mans. I remember rolling this character and being like, gosh, should I make somebody that looks cool? Like anime cool? And then, yeah two minutes later and I had my potato and I'm like well that's it that's it I'm done oh yeah cancel smash mouth because they're still in the as concerts yeah that was a bummer using a bummer to see. or a site as our starting point we fashioned a vessel for mind and memory both 
Oh, they made their, uh... They made their, like, little soul thermoses. It's wild how they, how they like... In a, in a game where wizards do it, like, it's all magic, they're still like, shit, okay, so... So, Warrior of Light, main character, is the only one that seems to be able to take physical things back and forth because of your inventory. And then they're like, oh, well, okay, so maybe we can figure out a way to, to, like, piggyback off of that and get our souls back to the reality we came from. And then they set off on this whole, like, very logical, very clinical-sounding uh, set of steps that they had to do of, like, the previous patches of preparing this plan. Of finding the research to store someone's soul, and then the ability to, like, have the main character carry it back to the reality where their bodies are. Like, it's, it's so weird to me how, in a game where it could just be, it's magic, they actually go to a lot of effort to, like, reason out all the steps and, and the plot points of what's going on. Yeah, Johnny Dots. Very weird and cool intersection of game mechanics and lore. Um, player made a deal with a fairy. That's right. I remember that, John Metz. That was a weird side, side thing in, in Shadowbringers when you go into, like, the fairy town. Which is a total Final Fantasy thing, like, classic Final Fantasy thing. Have a very, like, kind of serious main storyline that you take a total aside from to go to a fairy village or whatever and deal with them. Hey, good noob. Yet, the Welcome to the stream. this purpose admirably. The process of imbuing it with one's complete essence proved a somewhat thornier proposition. Simply put, the memory would not accompany the mind. And so, we looked to the Allegan's mastery of memory transference for a solution. This approach was not without its own complications, however, relying as it does upon blood, which inanimate objects notably do not possess. Does she have a mouth? Yeah. It's like a really tiny one under her giant bulby nose, so it's a little hard to see from that angle. We duly explored methods of suffusing the vessel with drops of the aforementioned. Alas, our painstaking experimentation succeeded only in making me feel faint and singularly failed to imbue the crystal with the necessary properties. Is he a leper? No. He's like infused with the magic. I. Someone else in chat might know the lore of why he looks that way, but he's been like a guardian of the crystal tower for a long time, so. Something, something, something. He's intertwined with the magic of the crystal tower. Zub, 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 zub. He's becoming crystal. I don't know. It was then that an idea occurred to me. Namely, that we might fuse the vessel not with normal blood, but with my crystallized essence. He got sent back in time? Yeah, but like, why is he part crystal? I don't, actually don't know that part. <laughs> I think I, I did the Crystal Tower quest, but I don't remember the lore of them at all. You're doing this for our sakes. So far be it from us to complain. But don't think we haven't noticed what's happening to your arm. It falls well short of offering up my life in exchange for yours. Which was your only stipulated prohibition, as I recall. And it is but a small price to pay for delivering you home. He can be part whatever he wants to be, yeah. Maybe he likes being part crystal. Assuming it works, we shall soon know if this grisly addition will serve as a suitable conduit for the subject's memory. Although, not soon enough to warrant your waiting. The Oops. Let us be off then. We have Asians to attend to, among other things. Forgive me, but I count six vessels, and there are only five of us. One is for testing purposes. I will personally use it to see whether the crystal functions as it should. And if it does, wouldn't that mean that your soul could also return to the source? Mm. Yes, in theory, at least. But there is a distinct difference between your circumstances and mine. While your corporeal forms want for souls, my past self does not. So there's a version of him in the source that's already body and soul connected? Mayhap our essences would blend, or mayhap they would- Because it's a past version go. of him? There is no telling what might occur. Time paradox, yeah. Dun 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 dun. Only with enough bread. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh no, I'm not playing two games at once, unfortunately. Um, 
Okay, so here's another thing that's very strange to me, is that this is, again, a game where it's magic all the time. Sometimes they're like, okay, well, we know when magic does these things that these things happen. And then in other circumstances, they're like, well, this has never happened before, but let's try it. <laughs> like, they're at least acknowledging that it is a paradox. He locked himself in the Crystal Tower in Realm Reborn. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> that was so long ago, man. Crystal Tower and raids. you'd be willing to take that risk? I got to see that bonus scene, though. There was kind of a cool thing where if you had done the, uh... Or no, wait, it was just a bonus dialogue choice, right? Yeah. If your character had played a certain kind of content, uh, I guess technically you as a player were supposed to connect dots that I certainly didn't. I see. Yeah, Shano. Man, I love 14 a lot. Yeah, it's required to clear Crystal Tower now. I think I saw that in the patch notes. So, like, if you logged in and hadn't done Tower, I think, don't, don't you have to do it before starting the MSQ for this patch? Which means the queue times are probably really short. I don't remember CT being all that bad. I remember it being a pretty pretty smooth ride. What's up, Kinatar? Been alright. Bing! Alright, I was kinda hoping I'd unlock a dungeon or something and have some like some dramatic stuff to leave off on, but there's Uriange. Speaking like a nerd. Hast thou a moment? Oh. The Exarch hath been subjected to an additional rejoining, an experience which will have wrought a change in his ethereal composition. Yeah, he's the only one who talks that way. It's weird. As thou thyself didst demonstrate in merging with Ardbert, there existeth an affinity twixt like souls. This doth give us cause to hope. I guess that's a good point. I guess that's that's the thing that I find redeeming about all the weird anime lore bullshit that 14 pulls. It is consistent, and it does reference the rules that it establishes in explaining how what's going to happen going forward. Unlike, against something like Kingdom Hearts, where it's just all over the place. And they don't even seem to be consistent, and they don't even acknowledge that things happened in the past should have any bearing on the way they happen in the future. their lore so much. Spent five minutes on bread. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that was supposed to be like the comic relief section. It does a fairly good job of slamming you with lore and then being like, well, here's a goofy thing that doesn't matter and lore. And here's a goofy thing that doesn't matter. Okay, a dungeon. Okay, now let's get some more lore in there. Anyway. Okay, I think I gotta take a break uh, to cook some dinner. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back with uh, Destiny with Jacob and Omar. Apparently a new event started in Destiny. A magic fish, I would love to see your sword concepts. Sure. Post it. Uh, but thank you for watching so far. Uh, I will be picking this back up again. Maybe even after Destiny. I could see going pretty late tonight. I love this game. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back in a while. Uh, another kind of long break. Sorry, I've been, I've been away from the stream a lot today. It's just how the, how the cookie crumbles sometimes, I guess. Uh, but after this, after this break... Got a lot of good Destiny time in, and then maybe back to 14 after that, so. Um, I will put it on... Mediatek was just on uh, Final Fantasy stuff, but I'll, I'll just open it up to everything. And I'll leave Cotcam on top. So, every... Yeah, you can you can do links, Magic Fish. Uh, I'll keep an eye on chat, though. You know, I'll, I'll have it up in there. So that I can make sure you guys are behaving. Uh, but I'll see you guys soon. So, thank you for watching so far.